Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of the ST Podcast. We're back after God knows how long. Been I'm off. Jack Millington. Joining me this week, as usual, as ever. First of all, it's the return of the boatman himself. It's Mikey Keaton. Yeah, I'm mate. Why are you a boatman? And also joining us this week, he's co-hosted the podcast before. It's not knowing his timing and coming too early. It's Matty Morris. <laughs> or, too, or too late. <laughs> Hey, you can yeah. never turn up at the correct time, can he? It's, it's better to be early than not at all. You tell that to every woman you dissatisfy in the yeah. future. <laughs> and she will literally <laughs> kick shit out of you. Uh, okay, <laughs> let, we'll let your little brain ponder on that for a bit. Yeah, I'll so, ponder it, I'm just thinking if we fly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the, 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 the moment's gone. The yeah. moment's just, How are we, gents? Pain. Well, very much in pain. Oh, shut up. The girl. The fucking pussy. Anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. That's what I'm from. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, and if you do have any offence to that, please do feel free to keep your comments to yourself. Now, are we alright though? Yeah. I know you're. I know he's in pain, so, you know, so is his vocal cords after that burp, more than likely. Yeah. You alright though, Mike? Yeah, so. Now, now, as per every week, we have the return of a classic. You know what I'm all about, don't you? Yes. Yes. The song is returned for this week. It took me about an hour to pick <laughs> a song that I hadn't used because <laughs> it's getting to that point now. <laughs> I'm starting to struggle, but I've got a song here. I'm going to play a snippet of it. And obviously, Mikey goes first. <laughs> you should know it in a minute. <laughs> It'll be the light out in my life A little bit of Erica by my side A little bit of Rita's all I need Proper 90s kid that, That's how you know you're a 90s kid yeah, when you hear this show Do you know the amazing oh thing about God. this song, right? It, in a poll of like most recognised songs yeah. I think this was number two or number three If you play the song for like two I think it was 2.6 seconds Most people recognise it it's just got one of those beats. Oh, me. Where no. was I? Here's, um, sorry. Here's a thing, though. While Mikey tries to think of what he was going to say. Bit of a switch up this week. Because obviously that's not the original. So I'm going to give you two guesses. One of when the original first ever version came out. And the second one is of that one. So you can have two guesses, so it's the original. The original the and the, the one that I've just played, which was by Lou Bega. Okay. Who was, who was the original by? Uh, if I remember rightly, on my according to my notes, it's Damaso Perez Prado. I thought I was going to say Terry Millet and then I was going to laugh at it. Well, what, what, do you, what do you reckon? Let's go with the original first. 86. Straight in. Going in dry. You know, cock of the year. How, 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 <laughs> how is that? He just called me Perf. <laughs> Do you know what? I just, I just, it's like, it took us, what, three minutes and we've already had the most dead joke so far. It's like, it's like, good and dry. Well, you know, okay, great. So he said 1986 for the original, just for the record, Matty, you're wrong. Um. Because I've not really heard the original. Obviously, everyone's heard the remaster. Yeah, well, everyone's heard well, the Do you know what? I'm going for a bit of shout out. I'm going to the 60s. 60s, whereabouts in the 60s? Is it 64? 64. Uh, no. Oh. You, you're, I mean, you're a lot closer than him. Oh. Uh, it was actually released in 1950. <sighs> yeah, actually, it was actually recorded though in 1949, but obviously, we got off release date, unless I say otherwise. Hmm. Uh, but what was the Lou Bega version though? 1998. 98? 98 from the young, the young Keating. 99. You're going to do that thing, aren't you, where you I just pick one? He's going to the new year. He's effectively going to be the new me. Let me answer <laughs> first. And then go, the new you, you're still here. <laughs> <laughs> but he's going to be like, yeah, go, go a year after or a year before. I already had 99 in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I can see, you know. <laughs> Is that Cal? Yeah, you. Sheep. I called him on. No, the... it's bull. It's definitely bullshit. <laughs> 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 
Matty, famously, you've never actually scored a point on this. Uh, again today. In about, what is it, six, I think it's like 68 attempts, maybe, something 69, like that. Maybe I'm favorite. not saying 69. <laughs> 68 plus one. <laughs> 70. <laughs> but finally he has. I got it right! It's 1999. Yeah. Specifically, if you want to know the release date, April the 19th, which is a week before my birthday, but he did. Courtesy of basically one-upping Mikey. So, I have to take a third of the point off. What? <laughs> because you've one up. I, I, uh, okay, yeah. I was going to say 99. What anyway. I might do from now on is, you write, you write the year down, whoever's guessed the second before the guest comes in for the first. So you got to write it down. Put the number in. Whoever's second guessing, yeah. Okay. Oh, so that, see, that, oh, that you way, can you, see that the number. That way you uh, can't one up. Oh, oh, but, fuck. but Matty, fair play. You got it right. It's Finally. Only, <laughs> it's only took 60 other attempts. <laughs> but he's got there in the 69th end. 69th attempt. <laughs> yes. Sort of like that. The uh, lucky number. Yeah. Number 69 attempts to go, yeah. Um, We haven't got... Too much main news to go through. Too many reviews. We got tons of reviews, and even our weird news. Weird news has been poor this week, so uh, I've done something with that which should be happy. Oh, the Russians got bored. Yeah, I don't care. Anyway, no, it's against oh, the your legs, you stink from before. Okay, now I called them on the phone. Do you mind? I'm busy. <laughs> Matt, <Matty. laughs> Shut up. Stinks. Shut up. Close your legs. It doesn't stink. <laughs> How fucking childish are you? Very. <coughs> is that a question? Is that a question that needs answering? No. Is that a question that needs asking? No. no. <laughs> um, I don't know if you've seen in London, in, B- in the main news, according to the BBC, a campaign led by medical professionals is calling for all diesel cars to be banned from London. Yes. Apparently, um, 9,400 Londoners a year die prematurely from breathing in toxic fumes from diesel engines. Paris, Madrid, Mexico and Athens have all committed to a ban on diesel vehicles by 2025. And apparently opponents to the campaign have called the proposals impractical and warned a blanket Piss ban off, leave the the be yeah. Um Now, Sadiq Khan is... <laughs> like trying to phase this diesel vehicle thing out, says he wants to get rid of diesel buses by 2018. Just get rid of buses in general. Um, Not like they don't turn up on time anyway. But no, okay, I know. Yeah. I know. Um, apparently, the mayor himself has more than doubled air quality funded and is doing everything in his power to tackle London's toxic air and rid the city of the most polluting vi- vehicles. I just want to know what your thoughts are on this. Do you want, are you ready to hear my list of things he's gonna have to get prepared to sort out? No, I just want your opinion. I just want your opinion. So I it? just want your opinion yeah. on the question, <laughs> not of anything else. Is do you think diesel engine cars or in in any for diesel engine should be banned in London? Yeah, Marty. No. Is it really? <laughs> <laughs> it's really an arsehole. <laughs> It's a work in like Paris and stuff like that. They get, they, they've committed to a ban by doing it in twenty twenty five by twenty twenty five. So it's Paris, well, Madrid, Mexico. If you think, you think of it this way, you go see the bus out because obviously for the buses to work full electric, before the motors to work, you've got to use diesel power. So now you've got to get petrol power to try and get it working. Yeah. Right. Then you've also got the bin lorries. Let's yeah. be honest, they're not going to be running on petrol because you need the high torque. You're also going to have, um, what else are you going to have? Like co- uh, Coach. Some coaches, coaches have petrol, yeah. some have diesel. Um, you're going to need stuff like your tipper trucks. Generators. Generators. You're also going to need your traffic wardens, little fucking uh, flatbeds you nick your cars on. Yeah, um, that's true. That is true. You're going to need your police cars, because half of them are diesel. Don't know why. When the motorway police ones, so you have to fucking fuck them off. Yeah. Then they're gonna have to do. This is just in London, though. Yeah, th- this is just generally in London. Um, well, fucking hell, they're gonna get interested with the helicopters, aren't they? Because you run on diesel. <laughs> He's talking about diesel vehicles. Yeah. Not helicopters, not, not including uh, aerials. Oh, I'm, I'm just saying as a general. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, there's people who die. Well, f- hey, well, yeah. fucking hell, they're fucked with the uh, the odd jet, aren't they? 
public air, air, private airports going over. No, that's a, that's oh, a separate, sorry, mate. If you've is, got diesel, you've got to go round towards Essex. <laughs> the thing is, that's what, the, like the whole diesel airline thing is a completely different problem entirely. But what were you going to say, Mark? Those people who died, did they actually get out of the city much and breathe some fresh air, or are they just stuck in London the entire life? Well, a lot of people who were born in London tend to stay yes. in London. Well, what don't they think instead of absorbing all the? Yeah, but people don't. People don't. You it's know, not their fucking like, fault. It's like it was your table, mate. Like people who live in that. Liverpool, Manchester, big cities yeah. are, get, are constantly polluted. You know, you, if you if you work in London, you can you know, you're gonna always get it. Even don't if you go out, if, even yeah, if you, you can have a nice little gentle walk in the forest. I don't know. Do you know where the nearest forest? The, woods? Do you know no, how, the thing is, yeah, right? Do you know how close the nearest forest is in London? Forest, wilderness, wild grass. You ready? You ready? Know. Twenty miles, Matty. Does so you want to walk twenty fucking miles through London just to get to a little fucking bit of grass and go? Well, that's it. And then walk all the way back. At least I'd be fit. Matty, you'd give that's up after five, ten minutes. That's got, not, that's got nothing to do with it. The point is, right? You drive. Exactly, so if, why can't you drive out the city? Oh, you, Matty, you're making you're not, more pollution no, for the next you're, person. You're then caught, right, there, there are many issues here, but first of all, if you live in London and your work is in London yeah. and you work, let's say, like five most days people, a week. five days a week. Not the weekend would go out. On a Saturday, you want to sit on your ass? I might have a t- I might that's because I live in the country. Oh my fucking god! He's not understandable. He doesn't get it. He doesn't. Get, people can't just. All right. Do you know how expensive it is to live in London? You uh, can't afford to go out and have luxuries unless you're in a well-paid. We're job. lucky. We're lucky. We live in the north. Down south, did you know the average house price is half a million quid? In London, a flat is three hundred and fifty grand for a warm bedroom. See what I mean? Now do you get where we're coming from? They can't afford yeah, to better. go out for lovely yeah, long walks. The same house. Yeah, they can. Like and a lot, people, and a lot of Matty, people Matty. that work five days a week in London, they work like six or seven days a week. Do this the wrong way. Oh, shit, jobs then. Wait, this house here. Yeah. Is shit. Right. <laughs> in London, this house would get you about 400 grand. That's how stupid it is. Matty, right, let me put it to this way. Imagine if you were so if you could six, pick seven this house days up. a week. Right, you know, actually, you know what? When you go to work and you come home, you want to relax, don't you? Yeah. From a hard day's work. Now, imagine doing that five, six, seven days a week, yeah, right? Like like, like you have week. done, like you've done before. Have you honestly got home from work and gone, could go for a walk to the concert, or have you gone to bed? Sometimes went to the gym. No, that's, that, no, that's not the That's not outside, answer. is it, though? You're inside. I have to go outside to get to the gym. Because you, no, you've got like, to drive to the gym, and to drive to, to the gym, you're polluting the air more. By the gym. Oh, all right, you're gonna go. To you're the gonna gym. walk to the gym. And now imagine how far. How far? No, listen, listen. Right, <laughs> right, right, listen, listen <laughs> you're actually gonna, gonna fucking kill people. Right, you all live. Right, so how far do you live away from your gym? About five minute drive. No, no. Right, five minute drive. Oh, 10 minutes, 5 minutes. Depends how fast okay. So, about 40 minutes walk. 40 minutes doesn't even cover half of London. So, let's say you live, in, respectively, in London, where the gym is, your closest gym. It won't work. You can't get out. Why don't you just plant a load of flowers right around the city? Oh, oh my grow it. God. Flowers absorb all the pieces of food. <laughs> and you don't think Irish some ex- kids sat there and just play prime school with... Uh, miss, miss, can we just put flowers around London? That might work. It wasn't work. You physically could not monitor the whole thing year round. You would have to monitor, you just plant them and hope they don't die. Oh my fucking you god. Uh, so you're telling me, right? To say, <laughs> you know, you're telling me, let's sit and imagine he's the environmental minister for Great Britain, right? And you you're saying, right, no, listen, listen, no, listen, 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 you go, listen, 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 don't even say that, right? Listen, this is even funnier. You're saying, like, as oh environment minister of the GV, the United Kingdom, you go to solve London's problems, just plant flowers, don't water them ready for just let rain cover it. Yeah. Sorry, 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 let me just get plant into character. Sorry, 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 let me just, let me just, let me stuff. just get into character. Okay, let me, let me, let me bring in the additional issues that comes with bringing, you get, you get 
Uh, insects fly around, which would then include, in particular, ants, which eat into brickwork, which would destroy houses. You've also got ants that can easily eat through fusion boxes, which will cause the power grids to go offline. That will cost more money than it is. More jobs. Oh, no. Then you've got to pay more, more people <laughs> to plant the fucking plants around London. No offence. But, you know, it, it all has to happen. How many... Uh, all right, let's say it's around London, right? You say you create a perfect circle, right? <laughs> I'm going full in death now to fuck you up on this. You go full circle around London. How many people do you, Matty Morris, Minister of Environmental Safety, would you say it would be... How many jobs would be created? Go on. 50,000. Yeah, <laughs> fucking clue. <laughs> Sorry, let, let me get into character. Um, and now please welcome the Environmental Secretary for the United Kingdom... Michael yeah, Keaton just acting on behalf of Matty yeah, Morris. Office, you? She, she walk in. Yes. Right, okay. um, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thanks for coming today. Um, I've got a better one. I've got an even better one. Right? Where are we getting these plants from? And don't you dare say the ground. <laughs> <laughs> countryside. <laughs> okay, so what are we going to do with the countryside once we've got rid of that? We're back. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> I want to move on from this. <laughs> no, I single handedly can can can't just, without physically can I just, embarrassing can I just do <laughs> my fucking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, obviously, imagine you're the journalist, Mill. Like, good morning, oh, thank I you don't for want coming. To be a cunt, though. <laughs> no, no, but just ask me yeah. the question, honey. So, uh, Anselm, you're all here this, this morning to uh, hear our review on how we're going to solve the pollution issues in London. Any questions? Pods! <laughs> <laughs> He would literally be like standing <laughs> off camera, out, just out of eye shot from all the journalists. What are you doing in the background? Any questions? Punts! <laughs> Come on. You are single handed. I'll ask the a question. The biggest fucking idiots I've ever known sometimes, Matt. <laughs> Come on, ask the question. What there's... are you going to do? Well, um, the minister has proposed that. I just need to clarify this quick, sorry. Um, Oh, you, you, you Wait, walk off the stage, uh, you're in the back of the... Plants! <laughs> Comes okay. back on. Yeah, it's about um, plants. Yeah, we're just going to put plants around London, yeah? What type of plants was the key? In? Just plants, yeah. yeah. Just... Doesn't even know what type of plants we're And how much these it. plants are going to cost us? Yeah. Well, I don't know. going to pick them out the ground. You're going to on a tight budget and you're going to go, plants. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you doing? What are you doing with the country? Plants. Is anything going to happen over diesel engines? No. No, no. <laughs> oh, that's, that's gone really well, that minister. Thank you. you not bad. You ruined the fun. Honestly. So, what do you honestly. mean? You ruined the fun? <laughs> you proposed putting. He, so might, have, he might have ruined the fun, but you ruined the 50,000 jobs Aww. to plant a few things. Do you know how much you've then got to pay the average man in London? £10 an hour. £8 an hour. No. £10 an hour. Move it on. Can I, I just, can I just give it to us that? Because this guy is literally not understanding what's going on. Uh, and on that note, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, now, the number of people that have been falling ill in England this winter is higher than average levels. Uh, lab testing has revealed there's about seven, 1,704 cases so far this winter, and it's because of this uh, norovirus which has seemed to have just stuck around all year long for some strange reason. <laughs> uh, in hospitals so far, in hospitals alone, there have been 100 outbreaks of the bug. Uh, according to the latest figures, over 850 beds have been closed because of the norovirus out of a total of 100,000. It's like, does has anyone does anyone know anyone, apart from me, mm. that has had the norovirus? What's the norovirus? Sneezes, sniffles. Vomiting, diarrhoea. It's you wouldn't wish it upon your worst enemy. Put it that way. It's that bad. No. Now oh, I will bad. say. I know. I know this yeah, you, sounds like s- strange, but I am you? literally telling everyone to just stay clean because this is it is single handedly one of the worst viruses, bacterial horrible thing that I've ever had. Right. I'll see you like that. Yeah. I'll see you later. <laughs> I'm already. I'm. I'm well past that now. <laughs> just, we'll get out tonight. Uh oh. <laughs> Guys, I've just thrown up and I can't shit. You just you just throw up constantly. You 
Your arse is literally like ten times worse than Bombay doors. I know, you, I know you laugh. I know you laugh, but it is horrific. Is it like? Um, it's not. No, it's not like any Team America. We see the other ways like. <laughs> well, I didn't get so much of the vomiting. Yeah. You got more of the shit. On, yeah. Honest to God, it well, is. At least you get to sit down. <laughs> Do you know the worst thing is you have like no energy to? You're literally bedridden for about a week. Do you have a shit bucket then? <laughs> that's a genuine no. no that's not a joke. That's a genuine question. No, because did mean, you have a shit bucket? No. Yes or no? No. Oh. <laughs> you could tell me, Mum, shit bucket. <laughs> well, you can, and your mum will just leave you to crap the bed. <laughs> in which turn will happen to him? We'll get the crap beaten out of him for crap in the bed. <laughs> and then <laughs> I've then got a fork and then, a new and mattress then pillow and all and this. everything. So, and then she'll moan at you for wasting your money. Then she'll call me up to cheer, and then I'll cheer her up. No, she won't. She'll just say, oh, fucking Matty. Oh, please, I'm not. Matty, boo. No, she, she doesn't call you that anymore. Yeah, she does. She, she does. She does. does. <laughs> when was the last time she said it? Last time we were around. When was that? Ages ago. Like three months ago. Hello, darkest world, hey, old friend. <laughs> <laughs> No, but honestly, no, if you know anyone that's got it, just stay, stay away, away from them. Well, stay away, honest. I mean, I, I was lucky I had it in the summer, so I didn't get affected by it, really, but I wouldn't wish it on the worst enemy. It's that bad. It is horrid. It is really horrid. Well, that was a fun story. Well, the thing is, people need to know about it. That's what the news channel's for. That's what we're for. Oh, we right. do news, you knob. No, we just do random shit that we well, that's find. What I thought we we do do random. Idea. We do do random shit. Well, that's what I thought we were. Yeah. We just make it up as we go along, don't we? How long have you been on this podcast for? What are the three sections that we do? Main news, weird news, news, reviews, gaming news. What's the first thing we do in yeah. news? Main news. What have we just done? News. Main the news. news. <laughs> you utter wobble. <laughs> that's being horrible to the wobbles, though. Hey. I don't want. I don't want to know what you think a wobble is, but it's not that. <laughs> um, now there is only one weird news piece. There's two. Well, there's one from this week. If you let me finish my sentence, you utter cock joy. I would be able to finish my sentence. There is one piece of weird news that's come out from this week on my end, but because we've had cancelled podcasts over the last, I don't know. 12 oh, months yeah I've actually brought some of the stories back from those cancelled podcasts that I'd already brought up because there's some cracking stories there that we hadn't spoke about and we missed obviously because of other like unfortunately prior, let's say prior commitments to be PC <laughs> but um, in California news Jelly Beans don't worry in California news what a surprise uh, a thief has been caught after he picked the wrong house to steal from. Now, apparently, there was a guy called Mikey Zaremba. I thought you were going to say Mikey Heaton. Uh, Mikey, I know. I only just realised is the guy who was the victim of this is called Mikey. He was expected some packages from USPS and UPS, but apparently in his area there were a lot of package thefts. So he came up with the idea of getting revenge on the guy who's been stealing from all around the edge. Do you want to know what he put in the box? Paper. Napalm. That's a paint bomb. I thought you said napalm. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, could you could you literally imagine that? I could imagine that. Just massive bars. Oh, what's in the air? <laughs> just burning the lungs and all that. Oh, no, it's not great. a paint bomb, by the way. No, no, mm. even even better than that. Um, smoke grenade. S- not a smoke grenade. It's not and dive pack. What do you mean by dirty? That's the thing. Dildos, I don't know. No, not dildos. Oh, yeah, it's going to really deter a thief off oh, straight <laughs> onto eBay, that, yeah. Well, I will do, will do. It's just basically giving him money. He's, st- he's stealing money from you. Uh, oh, dog shit. Bloody hell, you're on top form today, Matthew. Yeah! Apparently, his wife was holding a birthday party and they've got a great dane. Ah. So what he did was he collected it all up by the nine other dogs that were in attendance neatly packaged them all up into a box and left them outside on the front the guy actually came out uh, on a wheeled up on his bike his name what is his name Daniel Aldama or 
dumbass is yours. Uh, he's 39 years old and he was very happy with himself. There's actually footage of him picking it up, going, mm, opens the box, and then he pulls probably the most reeling, gagging face I think I've ever seen in my life. It's like... <laughs> and then just... the best And the best thing is, he throws the box up. And, and obviously, because he's a <laughs> bit thick, runs, he throws it backwards and turns round. <laughs> you could get the follow-up from what happens there. And... Uh, the best thing was, he got caught and he's been he's been arrested and he's I think what's he he's awaiting I think justice or trial and stuff like that. Mm. But it's just the funniest thing is the fact that he threw it up at the box in the air and it landed on his head, <laughs> full of dog shit. <laughs> so I thought I'd mention that. That's actually the only thing that's really happened. The weird news this week as such. Mikey's going to do his other thing from this week. Oh, actually, it's court news. Well, this week, then, for, yeah. for people that know Mr. Millington, why have you put your glasses on yourself? Um, fruit as we can see from here, you metrosexual fruitcake. Oh, <laughs> um, that the, wasn't a cup. The, I know <laughs> <laughs> the balloon situated in the room. Recently, my good colleague here decided oh, I'm not going to graduate from university. Three weeks ago, so right. uh, no, I'm. First of all, c- congratulations. But there's a quick question I need to ask you. Oh, is this not the serious thing, is it? It is. What is it? Will, do you know when you go for graduation, mate? Yeah. I, I'm not having to go, like, right? but I see your pictures. Oh, nice one, he's graduated. And as you do, as I go to scroll on, I've just seen, like, two grey trainees. I like, Right. What? He's basically complaining about you wearing trainees at com- graduation. I am not complaining. I'm asking. The mic. Get- Why the hell is he wearing trainees at graduation? God! <laughs> I didn't say it like that. <laughs> I'm like- inclined to believe him <laughs> because you have a historic ability of doing it. Now, the reason, the reason why I wore the shoes is because, one, it's fucking cold. And secondly, to be brutally honest, to be brutally honest with you, the when we, we were walking into the church which has the uh it's got like a marble type floor and if you've ever walked in smart shoes on a marble it's floor horrible. it's like skating on ice but with no fun <laughs> and you end up and about i think seven Since or eight lads and women in heels fell over like walking not up to, obviously onto the ceremony because it's it's fine further back but like getting to where they were supposed to be sitting loads of people were falling over because of the floor, and that's that's simple. And I just thought, well, I remember the marble floor, so I'm not wearing them. <laughs> so I wore me, so I wore a nice pair of sketches that I would normally work for work. Okay, no, no, that's they are, a they are my answer. work. They are my work See, shoes. That's a reasonable answer. Okay, that's all. But no, other than that, what is your next plan in life? From university, he's got a job. Do you know what? Is this, is this 20 up. questions? Am I being interrogated? Are you going to ask do, me? Do, do, do you, know you see what? yourself in six years? I don't, you know what? I'm going to ask you to congratulate you and all it's just like a general question. This dickhead in the world. Like a fucking Rottweiler in the corner just like, shut the fuck up. He's <laughs> <laughs> just sat there just going. <laughs> there's a little there's a little spinning imagination in his head going. Kill, kill, kill. Michael Keating, kill, mm. death, blood, decapitation. <laughs> yeah, not really. Yet. <laughs> He's just got my little pony rolling round his head, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to hurt you, and I look forward to the day. <laughs> Why? It's funny. What happens if he hurt you? Well, you're going to knock him the fuck out. <laughs> He is the instigator of all this, just for the record. He's the one that causes all the shit. No, I don't. I'm innocent of all these parties. Party. Parties. Party. Like, why is it parties? Uh huh. Uh huh. A single party is except yourself. No, a single party is this. Single party is No, it's not! If you have two parties going against each other, that's groups. Two oh. groups. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so it'd be groups. I'm half and half in each group. 
We're not. Yeah, but you have to to be a group. It needs to be more than technically speaking two people. Now, if you're saying we're a party, that's only one. We need at least two. So we need two people here and two people there. Oh, well, we could get one. I should. I doubt she'd go on this. Who? <laughs> Who's the other one? I have no idea. I'm not going there either, just in case. Uh, uh, no, we're not going. Piss off! No, fuck off, free monster! You, you shit out! Uh. No, fuck off, man! All right, you can have one. There you go. Have one. <laughs> <laughs> Such a child. <laughs> Such a child. Now, I thought I'd go back over some of the news. What the fuck was that for a face? That's just a common face. Um, oh mate, basically. I didn't <laughs> Oh my god. I really <laughs> worry for whoever you're with. <laughs> um, now, you do remember a few months back we spoke about a seagull that got covered in curry. I remember that. Yeah. Oh shit, yeah, and it was like a chicken tikka masala. It was a chicken. Well, funnily enough, when it comes to animals and supermarkets, <laughs> yeah. it tends to be in the news. And a few months ago, we missed a story about another seagull in the news. Is this a it's like the, it's like it's like a carrying on from the owl thing. We've now got seagulls. What happened to that owl? Do you know what the actual what the owl that was attacking everyone? Yeah. yeah. No one knows. <laughs> it turns it turns to crime fighting. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> one separate blue moon it shows its face. <laughs> one separate quite nice. <laughs> when the waters are still, the crime fighting and justice warrior comes out. <laughs> Captain Owl! <laughs> <laughs> Owls can make strange noises, mate. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> apparently, apparently, apparently uh, technically, it, a few months ago, in Tesco News, <laughs> don't, 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 you know, don't some you strange know things have happened in Tesco this year, Matt. Oh, uh, yeah. Can you tell us what? An angry seagull <laughs> swooped into a Tesco store in Garris Wharf, True Road, about our oh, fate in the Call evening. Up. Just to stay. Well done. Look at that, he's happy now, big smile on his face. Uh, and apparently it began harassing customers and staff. An employee told SWNS, which I'm assuming would be South Wales something, I don't know. Yeah. Well, that's what this, well, SW would be South West. Yeah, I thought it was in South Wales. No, I know it's not in South Wales. You know what I'm like. Yeah. Anyway, apparently he quoted, I was unaware of its presence until it nearly flew into my face. <coughs> Sorry, how the <laughs> fuck are you unaware of the presence of a seagull? It's not exactly the quietest animal going, is it? Well, if it's not making a noise, then yeah. <laughs> well, when it's flapping around, is it? It's a bit hard not to hear something flapping another, around. Another, a, a customer face. apparently was reportedly hit in the face by the seagull when it entered the shop. Now, with this being Tesco and constantly being worried about health and safety issues, maybe not in yours, but I don't know, the store was eventually forced to close. <laughs> 75 minutes as staff attempted to apprehend the angry bird, and the gull was eventually captured and safely released outside after taunting workers from atop a pack of Iams cat food. Apparently, they used Iams cat food to bring it down. I know, I had a sparrow. You're in a so supermarket. Much. And the first thing that the people thought was, what would a seagull like? It like it always eats ice cream, so let's get a big box of Iams cat food. I'm no expert on the situation, but I think the ice cream would have been a better job. Just get rice or chips. Or chips, that's true. Or fish. <laughs> Has a tendency to go for fish too. We'll get fish, and chips. Put the rice in. <laughs> fish. Just get that chip shop smell in, just like thinking. Hey, go and order a chippy. We got a loose seagull again. <laughs> what I don't understand this is right. I need to know how a seagull has flown into a Tesco. Yeah, it is quite easy. I know when I was working in Tesco. I see, it was. You just fucked it now, haven't you, by saying that? I didn't fuck it. And then there's a sparrow flew into the actual. No, you see, store. a sparrow is understandable because a smar- oh, yeah. sparrow is very small. And then we had a pigeon. Sparrow's about a pigeon quarter. too. And that was scary in case it dropped on, you know. Yeah, but you got to think about a sparrow is a quarter of the size, technically in dimensions, to the seal. So, so when you have seen a sparrow right on the shelf next to you. Oh, we got scientific casing coming in to evaluate the properties of a sparrow in relation to a seagull. Would you, like to add, would you like to add the pigeon into your analysis, young chap? Yeah, the pigeon is the average size. 
of a pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> it's about let's say three quarters the size of a seal. Seagull has a longer wingspan. Why? The, why though, right? Why has Tesco been in the news so much this year? Like, let's look at financial stuff aside. Just what? weird shit. Just the last twelve months. Actually, no, last eighteen months with all the horse thing as well. Oh. It just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it's like Tesco have basically that decided. That was a really bad joke. I didn't. That was a fucking <laughs> bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your? T- <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you know what? He's the it, only it's been person, fun doing this podcast. Let's be honest. He's you. the only person I know who can laugh at a horse going. <laughs> see what I mean? You can leave me. I thought. See when I do the. Can you imagine with a clown on the horse? Remember social experiments? <laughs> when I did it all the time, I used to laugh at a clown horse. Oh, I think I could go even dumber. I think I could dumb it down. I think, I think we can just get the, the noise of arse gas just coming out of erupting out of someone's arse and it'd be, be him better. laughing even better get a clown put it on a horse make the horse do a sound you're, well, not, it getting, just goes, you're not getting a clown just, horn. it just goes it just goes <laughs> <laughs> he was fucking dying laughter he will he literally suffocates himself laughing you're not getting the clown horn <laughs> I, I can oh. I can do what I like <laughs> god damn it uh, there is oh, there is other news. Um, is it Tesco related? It's not <laughs> Tesco related, basically. Although I think if we were to have a, an award for the, actually, funnily enough, I was going to say something there, but I've just realised something. It's already on the podcast awards for this year, uh, which I'm going to announce in a bit. A small Swedish town back in August again. August was the month when everyone was still blowing up about Pokemon Go and everyone went mental. That's died off now. Oh, it hasn't because loads of people are still playing it. It's really? just it's just people don't really like talk about it or it's in your face as much Me anymore. You walk in I s- in Halton Square. I still and I play cast Pokemon off. Go. Hey, I couldn't get around with that. That was funny. Me, that was so I had two percent of battery. The thing well. is, a small Swedish town has been rocked by a bizarre crime involving pig masks, sex, Pokemon, and lasers. Yeah, that's the that's the weirdest. And, and apparently, this is four months ago, back in the tiny town of Innsjön. It uh, became the talk of a nation when two teenagers who were playing Pokemon Go were attacked with lasers by a pair of people wearing pig masks. Hmm. Now that's a bit strange, but the thing that gives it the kicker to this story is that they were then caught later holding up traffic as they had sex by a water wheel. Who are the kids that got? No, the people that were wearing the pig masks oh, right. were having were holding up traffic, having sex by a water wheel while still wearing their pig masks. What? Yeah. Piggy, piggy. I, I they wore <laughs> rubber masks oh, depicting pig's heads and they started screaming and waving a green laser. The same pair of unidentified lazy wielding masks were also ma- oh, they were also wearing t-shirts emblazoned with the words king and queen. You can't get any more cheesy than this at the minute. It's just like... like this is weird. No. This is weird. This is weird, Mark. Oh, this is creepy. It's uh, exactly well. If weird news would be classed as creepy news, get off Facebook. But like, yeah, Mikey, a oh, god. Actually, I've actually just got a sound for you, Morris. Now, oh, for God's <laughs> sake! <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> That's how you know you're gonna laugh, don't you? It's like a precognition stage on a car where you turn it over. You're like, you when you turn it's like, it, it's like this. No, it's like this noise. Honestly, this noise gets them all the time. <laughs> See what I mean? Just <laughs> laughs on it all the time. Oh, this one. Da, 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 da. It's a trap. <laughs> yeah, that's. Yeah, <laughs> But like. Does, the, there were other pieces of weird news that we missed out as well. Yeah, I'll say a beeping noise. Yeah, it's next door, it's fire alarm. Um, it's normal around it's here. It's normal around here. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you doing? 3D glasses. Matty, it's fucking nearly <laughs> pitch black. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, I can create awards, you know, before the actual cer- ceremony announcements. Oh, please oh. do. So, you know, just just, uh, just warning you, Matt. So, prick of the year, yeah, is that going for quite a good candidate this year? Yeah, yeah you. 
Now, I forward it twice. Do you remember when all the petitions came out about the you know the EU referendum results? Uh-huh. You remember the you know oh they don't like the EU referendum results. So did many people, but they didn't sign it. And there was also the I didn't like the Battle of Hastings results, so I want a referendum to change the decision. <laughs> do you remember that? Well, um, apparently there's another one. This is oh, honestly no. God, I can't believe we actually missed this because it's brilliant. Do you know fire ants? Yeah. yeah. Fire ants. Well, apparently there was a petition. Um, let's see. Let's see. What? Well, how many? I'm trying. Firstly, I'm trying to see how many people had signed it. It was a few thousand people. I know that much. Signed it, and they wanted to change the na- name of the fire ants. <laughs> Do you want to know what they wanted to change the fire ants to? Yeah. <laughs> so, fire ants. For many reasons, because they can survive high temperatures, they wanted to change it from fire ants to spicy boys. <laughs> Can you imagine that? The what's the name of this? Just imagine Fire ants. No, no, wrong. No. It's spicy boys. <laughs> Just and here we have the wild spicy boys going around the road. It's like David. Hey, that's a room we'd be able to give a straight face. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that'd be so funny. Sorry. Do you know how many signatures it had? Sixteen thousand signatures it had to change the name from fire ants to spicy. Boys. Thank God we're not run. The world isn't run by the public or the Americans. <laughs> This petition was actually uh, targeted towards uh, the first lady of the US, Michelle oh, Obama. <laughs> I just like so let's put it there, some random little town in the middle of the suburbs in America. For I don't like the name finance, but I think Spicy Boys would be more. Is it? There's actually there's an actual quote here from the petition thing. It's actually said. It has taken far too long for this issue to be dragged into the public eye. The time for this fire any nonsense to stop has come. That's a strange that's a strange quote. Let's all just agree that spicy boys are called spicy boys and move on. Unfortunately it didn't go through. <laughs> I thought you needed like hundreds of thousands for a petition to go through. Well you need a hundred thousand for it to be debated in the House of Commons in the See, UK. It's fifty thousand for it to be cons- uh, looked into. Yeah. 100,000 to be considered to be spoke about. Can we can we put a petition up to say that the S team deserves a universal grant of a million pounds? Can we? Uh, it won't get any more than five. I reckon folks. if we I reckon if we give everyone a cookie and some crisps and you know some cat for people who are into that stuff. Hey, I reckon we should get hey, about eight million people. We should start our own TV show. No, four. No, <laughs> bloody. How do we plan it? Go on, you're the mice. You're the director. We ask Jerry Clark and Richard Hammond and James May for help and then see if they'll help us. And how much <laughs> is that going to cost us? Uh, Twitter message. <laughs> he's not getting the point here, is he? <laughs> Wait, so he's now been sacked as excessive producer. It goes over to me. Oh, fucking <laughs> hell. <laughs> but now, wait, so... It's like Jeremy explosions. Explosions! <laughs> No, that's power. I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna I'm gonna move on to gaming. Please, please news. Before do. we get onto the reviews, I'm gonna have a quick roundup from PSX, which basically means me just listing a bunch of games that were announced at PSX. So that was the um, PlayStation Experience. That was last week, didn't it? That was last week. Yeah. The one game I wanted that wasn't there. Top where were we here last week? The thing was, Spider Man was said even beforehand it wasn't exactly. gonna be there. So and the same with God of War. Things that were announced: Aero. Absolver, which is uh, made by Slowplot. Celeste. Crash <laughs> Band. <laughs> what? It's fake. Is it Celeste? Yeah. It's, it's basically like an indie game inspired by real life rock climbing. Um, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. I don't. I, I want to talk about it, but we can't because we've got too much to do. Um, a, a game for Matty. Dangon Roper. Or romper rather, V3 Killing Harmony. It's Japanese, you'll like it. <laughs> uh, Destiny's The Dawning, so Sparrow Racing's back. What? The Dawning, it's their like, winter event thing that they do every year. They've brought back Sparrow Racing. So we can go racing in our So we need racing. to be doing some Sparrow Racing from the 13th onwards. Which... Okay, now we need to get you two online first so we can at least do some of these little. Uh... Sometimes, Mikey, we're busy. Oh, I understand you. <laughs> Hey. Dino Frontier. I'm busy. Yeah. 
Exactly. Exactly. I'd rather Take not want to. Take some time. I don't want to hear it over the headset, Mike. I no, mean, no, no, do I? Basically. So, uh, Dreadnought, which is basically about that you stand at the helm of a massive spaceship. It looks like pretty cool, to be fair. Can you customize it. Allegedly, so yeah. Oh, it's not going to be like the. Um. No, it's not like No Man's Sky. It's a game that's actually on Steam that is working. Mm-hmm. Uh, e Valkyrie, Fallen Legion, The Flame and the Flood, Games of Glory, Garu. Which is another uh, mad thing. Hand of Fate 2, which a lot of people were kicking up about. Human Fall Flat. Lara Croft Go. Everything just seems to have Go at the end of it nowadays. Let It Die, which I think is already on the PS4. So. <laughs> Let It Die. Let It Die. <laughs> uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Let It Go. Uh, Megaton Rainfall. The, if you like baseball, MLB. There's loads of stuff. Honestly, never understood baseball. To be perfectly honest with you, Rams. they don't understand, in their words, football. So you know, no, the- it's American baseball. Well, is just round. Football was before that. Why the fuck they call it soccer? Because we gave it. We gave them the name of Association Football, and they just went sock, and they went soccer. Sorry, in what point do you kick that ball? Net barely any time. You hold it in your arm. So Teddy should be called arm ball. Nino Kuni 2, which is a J- JRPG, so I, I don't think you've ever played the first one of it. Which one? What was it? Nino Kuni 2. I'll you'd, look it up. You'd, you'd, you'd enjoy it. I know I'm going to get it. Nino Kuni 2. Write that up. Loads of PS1 remasters, including Parappa the Rapper. Uh, and Wipeout is getting a complete trilogy remaster. Oh, is that well. the one with the cars in the arena? Or is that a totally different game? No, Wipeout's a futuristic racer. Which is almost infamous, in fact. There was one there. Um, Back in the old days, very old days, you had like a little bus and a few sports cars and trucks go around the arena trying to blow each other up. <laughs> it was quite fun. Twisted metal. That might have been. Uh, Last of Us Part 2 was obviously announced. Got it. And obviously uh, Uncharted's DLC was ca- come out with the Lost Legos. Le- uh, legacy. <laughs> the Lost <Legless>. The Lost Legos. <laughs> 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 to be in middle earth for you and get lost. <laughs> yeah, the Lost Legacy. You haven't seen it, have you? Um, I've heard about it I just haven't seen much info on it Kielos, uh Wind Jammers which is like a, a legendary classic game from the I think early 90s on the Omega system just that cool and Yakuza Yakuza 6 is going to be fun. I'll let you guess what you're doing Yakuza about kill people no that you start legit businesses yeah it's like it's like, <laughs> it's like a Japanese version of Dark Souls in terms of difficulty, <laughs> I hate Dark Souls. Because he can't. And Dark beat Souls it. hates you. <laughs> Dark Souls hates everyone. <laughs> no, a guy in work, he's done it. He's gone around the game four fucking times on New Game Plus. I mean, how sad do you have to be to do Dark Souls three, New Game Plus four fucking times. No, <laughs> you tell me. It's insanely difficult. Mas, I don't know. You tell me. You're shot at FIFA. Fuck off. Let, let's, let's, let's be honest. You both shit at FIFA. I scored four, three fucking goals. No, yet. I put my hand up to it. Yeah, I am shit. So what? He finally agreed. I've always agreed. No, you fucking haven't. Well, we go. Uh, Mikey, when we, when shit. we talk about no, stuff on not. Facebook, like, no, that's <laughs> mashing. No. I agreed with that. It was the other day. You were fucking <laughs> dreadful. In the words of Will McKenzie, that was fucking dreadful. dreadful. Honest to God, it was awful. Um, we can move on to some reviews now. Now, I'm going to um, do Mafia 3 first so that you two can think about Battlefield 1. Sorry, so you can think about Battlefield Doctor 1. Doctor Strange and Battlefield 1. <sighs> one games. I just remembered he did say he was going to do his Doctor Strange review. Oh I did forget that. What are we doing it's, first with your games? Would you like to do your Doctor Strange review before we get into games so I can Yeah, it's just going to be quite quick. Okay, uh, right, basically, Doctor Strange, magician of the Marvel Universe, one of the top tier heroes. Uh, the movie's about his origin, how he gets his superpowers, basically. It uh, starts off pretty slow and then builds up. You do get to see a few characters like, um, what's the big guy's name? The Green Wizard. Momoa or something like that. He's quite cool. Uh, graphics for the movie, very decent. Comedy, a lot of it. Action, pretty good. Story-wise, a bit dull. 
really story was great story is alright the story is great uh, is it, oh, oh, no, it's, still, it's not done yet. It's not done his review. Yeah, so I've done visuals. Funny. It was quite funny at times. Brilliant. I it. Yeah. My eight rating for it at the time was an eight, so I'd suggest watching it. Seeing as I'm a Marvel fan too. That, that's it. Review. Done. When I said do a review, I meant do a review. <laughs> not, <laughs> not, not less than the minute, which that was. You said, uh, I, said, I did say I'll get it done quick. I said, so I said, do, I said do a review. You could take up your time doing a review. You can go over things. Yeah, there's nothing much to go over. The graphics were brilliant. The funny humour everywhere you turned. I mean, that big massive Asian guy is fucking hilarious. Um, that's it. Can I just state on thingy? Did you know? Have you is ever watched Rick and Morty? Is this to do with gaming news? No, it's Doctor Strange. All right. Did you know? Have you watched Rick and Morty? On Netflix, yeah. No, no, no. Hey, it's so funny. I haven't got Netflix. Well, the creator behind that is you know when they've man the uh, on the film. Do you know when you go for like the f- the dimensions and stuff? Yeah. Well, they got the cre- creator in of that to help them understand how to make it work effectively. Well, that's, that's the, the thing with Doctor Strange. It's like years ago they wanted to make the film, but they couldn't because the technology wasn't there. Mm. Yeah, it's just like oh my god, the graphics reminded me of um, how was that? Inception, that's the one. My god, my brain is getting whoa. <laughs> Look at all the visuals. <laughs> the colours going around and saying, oh, 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 oh. Um, yeah. That's it. Seven, I gave it, didn't I? Seven. seven. Eight. Eight. Eight, seven, yeah. Fucking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Not> really? <laughs> yeah. So then we've got Mafia, I'm Battlefield, Card, WRC6. Yeah, and. So that's that. it it's full to do so Jeez. I better start some Mafia 3 then so uh, if you've had, if you been living in a cave Mafia 3 was uh, released about two months ago I said I'd take my time with it and then we didn't have a podcast for a while so I took even more time playing through with it and if you want to know what the game is it's basically set in the 1960s in a fictional version of New Orleans called New Bordeaux. You play Lincoln Clay who after doing a let's say bank job would be the right word of saying it. Uh, he his family gets killed and from there on in it's a revenge plot. Now that's not a spoiler because it was shown in the marketing, it was shown in everything, so if you know, if you think that's a spoiler then Well, I don't it's know. Not, but, yeah. Well no. Because we need people to watch, uh, <laughs> and basically Lincoln goes on this journey of trying to build himself back up and to take on Sal Marcano, who's the main antagonist in the in the story. And to do so, he has to take over districts and build up rapport with his what's a uh, criminal underboss? Would be the right phrase I think I'm looking for. Criminal underboss. No, because uh, underboss is always the one that was underneath the boss. Underneath the main one, so yeah, it would be Capos. Criminal. Cap- yeah. Oh, all right, yeah, like yeah, that, I think it? criminal it's... underboss would be the best thing to pick. So, uh, you start off uh, not too far away from where you were raised, and you have two friends really at the beginning to start off at your side. Firstly, you've got Sammy, who's like, how can I put it? His, his relationship with Lincoln comes back from when Lincoln was in an orphanage so he sort of was there you can see him grow up he was there constantly with him and then obviously Lincoln went off to the Vietnam War came back and you know obviously he tried to try to help his family out until they crossed the wrong path with Marcanos who killed them off and then you've got his pal who's for some Unknown reason, my brain has completely forgotten his name. But Danny, no, no it's not Danny. I, I, do you know out of all the names you could have picked? No, it's Danny. Not Danny. Tell laugh of it is. <laughs> it is Danny. Can't be Danny. It is. No, it can't be. It can't not Danny. be. It's not it's John Donovan. I can't believe. It. No, I, I was speaking to the other one. Have you even got Mafia Free? Yeah, I've got Mafia Free. Met him. No, he hasn't. I watched some of the gameplay. Kaseka! <laughs> anyway, 
So basically, Donovan, who was uh, your, I think he was your CEO in Vietnam, comes back with you and helps set up like a a list, a surveillance unit, so we can listen in to see what the Marcanos are doing. And to be brutally honest with you, I'm not going to beat around the bush when I say this. Donovan is the best character in the whole friggin' thing. That's not to detract from Lincoln Clay, who's a good character, but you can tell his storyline is quite centered on just becoming more and more spiteful towards the Marcanos who'd killed his family. Donovan, though, is just friggin' hilarious. He is your typical 1960s cool ass guy who just. Give no shit. Doesn't give a toss and has the charm and personality that would probably make us lot laugh over a couple of drinks. <laughs> to be really he is he is very funny. It depends on how many drinks for him. No. Um so. and then after, when it comes to the actual gameplay itself, basically you've got to go around taking over districts. So your the two main things that you do are taking out like commanders of the district area. Yeah. Or like, you know, destroying merchandise, stuff like that. There's loads of different like little gonna put it like little there's like, all like little side objectives and stuff to do it's a bit like um sorry um mafia 2 because it's so, like you had like little sub quests within the major quests little sub quests except this is set within an open world rather than set mafia chapters two was yeah set chapters the thing the thing with the mafia 3 the gameplay there's there's nothing groundbreaking here when it comes to like you know it's taken over districts it's almost like you know territories in Assassin's Creed. That's what I was going to talk about. It's similar of such to that. It, it except they do it in a different way. It's actually like the main boss battles when you're going up against like these criminal undangs. They're very good fun. You know they're really you can even you can approach it stealthily, which isn't difficult because I'll get to that in a minute. Or you can just go in all guns blazing. I've never had so much fun just walking around with a shotgun. And literally, the funniest thing is you can just walk. <laughs> you can literally just walk around. Just oh, there's an enemy. <laughs> oh, it is. It is. Easy. No, it's not easy. That that wouldn't be the right word. But it simple. No, when you when you're going up against like little rackets, where there's like maybe four or five guards, you can walk. When it's obviously a big warehouse, you can't walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know where I'm coming from. Now, eventually, you start to get underbosses by doing certain things for them so you have Cassandra who's the leader of the Haitians if you do certain things for her you'll get like upgrades and stuff so I think you get weapons and vehicle modifications and stuff like that uh, obviously you've got Vino Scaletta the legendary fella that he is from Mafia 2 uh, he comes back in this he's also a criminal underboss and he's actually probably the best portrayed character out of the three bosses and he looks after his Italian part of the Mafia, because obviously he can't go back to where he was in Mafia 2 after yeah, everything yeah, that kicked off. Empire up. Bay. Empire Bay, that's the one. And then you've got Thomas Burke, who's the leader of the Irish Burke. mob. He's literally a stereotypical drunk and he's a fucking dickhead. He is a dickhead, but he's your underboss. They All, all three of them also have like um, their right-hand man, or women in some cases, because they give you separate little targets to do so you can go out and collect moonshine and stuff like that which is pretty cool to be fair going wow. off because you do go on an adventure in some of the journeys that you've got to go because you would be on one side of the map and your moonshine's on the other side and you're like radio station on <laughs> just a quick note about the stations this soundtrack's fucking amazing <laughs> is there any fast travel in it? Well, no. it ruins the game that's no. good no. fast travel no there is no fast travel you understand something like Witcher or if it's it, it's not Elder it's not an, it's not an overtly huge map, but the thing that it has over a lot of other games, I'd say it's a little bit smaller than GTA V's, like city part. No, not city part. It's you a, know what I mean, though. Like, it's quite. It's yeah. about, take half of the map of GTA. I yeah. think it's the the gameplay itself when it comes to like the the driving controls. You've got two options. You can have the basic one, which like keeps the car in track, and you have, and then you can have basically all the switch switched off. And when you're in a big '60s muscle car, which has been upgraded, it's like power sliding in a tank because <laughs> the it does actually really do um, 
weight balance brilliantly. It's like you you can shift weight from side to side. It is really well done. I don't know who I don't know how two K games have done it because I have they done any racing games in the past two K? I can't uh, think of it. Yeah. A couple. Yeah, I've done a few. Oh, oh I, can't, well, I can't remember. <laughs> that. That's what I mean. I can't think of the last racing game they did if they have done. No, I can't think. Of it. I can't think of it. I mean, I know, I know. Um, Mikey's looking at the way. While we, while Mikey looks, I will say that the best thing about this game is that the the story is brilliant. It's like the 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 cut scenes are all rendered brilliantly. So there is no. Oh, it's just the graphics are almost pinpoint. It's like they're a real life. It's some in some cases are that good. And the, the the character interaction, especially between Clay and Donovan, is brilliant. It is really good. Take those fucking glasses oh. off. <laughs> they were really wanted to be off. Don't take, the, don't take this the wrong way, mate. Be a Peter Parker. You know, let so- him dream. But um, the thing, there are like many good things about Mafia that I could go into it for ages. And especially since they've updated it, they've actually fixed a lot of the bugs that were in the game, which would have dra- dragged my score down originally. Yeah. But they've now fixed most of them. So, like, there was a couple of things where, like, the chrome bumpers would be exceptionally shiny to the point where it blinds you in the face. Yeah. It's got a few of a mad... I mean, I've, I've seen a lot of GIFs and a lot of pictures and videos, and they are friggin' hilarious, some of the ones that were in the original 1.01 update. Since they've done it, though, it has improved it a lot. Graphically speaking, when you're actually playing the game, it's it's all right. I mean, they could have could have used a bit more colours and stuff in it, but it is quite a pale colour palette. It's pretty yeah. nice, though. It, it does set the mood, would be the right word. It's just, graphically speaking, it's... Different. They could have used a different colour palette. That, that, that's what I'll say. They could have made it a little bit more bright and vibrant. There are, it isn't the perfect game though, and there are problems. In particular, and the one that drags the score of this quite a lot, is the AI. They are exceptionally awful. They You can do stealth and just walk past them at times. Now, I haven't done any of like the main story missions since this update's come out, so I don't know if it's improved in the story missions. Mm, yeah. But some of the uh, the AI behaviour is at times hilarious more than anything else you do sit there and think how has he not seen me when he's walked around the corner looked at me and then carried on walking <laughs> it does make you question what did hell? it need a few more months Did it, it? could it have come out this month and it would have been fine yeah probably could have but the AI is a bit crap the other thing that I've noticed is, apart from the main boss battles, yeah, and the, like this, the gameplay's a bit flat. It's like it doesn't do any. The gameplay doesn't do anything new, if you get what I mean. It's not like it's, a it's bit not like taken out from different games. Uh, th- that wouldn't be the right word. It's like it does its own thing, but it doesn't feel like it's new. It just feels like another open world gameplay type of thing. Yeah, it's what? Are you talking about mechanics or just game? Just, uh, in terms of like most most things, I'd say not everything. So it's like you know, it goes out. Like you've got to get collectibles. So you've it's got just to the same stuff over here. No, because it's not boring. That's the one thing it does different. It's not like uh, some Assassin's Creed games where you do eventually find everything just repetitively in the same animations over again. You do get that in Mafia, but it's not yeah. boring because of. The different ways you can approach a mission, especially the main mission. Some of the mission design, I've got to be honest, is friggin' brilliant. Is it? And yeah, it's really good. Some of it. The other thing I'll give it kudos for is the actual open world itself. It's not big, but it's bloody dense. There are a lot of interiors you can get, like garages and ho- hotels, restaurants, bars. A lot of NPC. And this is one thing I've got to say: NPC interaction What's is. NPC? non-playable character okay. so like p- characters walking along the road even though there's not many characters walking along which there should be if you're in a city mm. when you hear them talking about real life news like Martin Luther King getting assassinated and everything like that and they're talking about real life news in the game itself there's just something about it where you're like that's pretty cool 
I will. It is a very. I will say this much though, for a warning to everyone who's doesn't like language. This is a very, very racially charged game. You got to admit, it. it's. I mean, I mean, and and you actually get a warning on the Mafia Three thing when it's loading up. It's like we didn't want. We didn't like the language used in this, but to create an authentic game, they had to. And you can, re- honest to God, you can really tell. It's like sixty nineteen sixties police brutality. And this is this is the this is the kicker for me. If you commit a crime in a poor area, like in the Haitian area, or maybe like in another poor area, the police will come and look at it. Maybe in three or four or five minutes, slow response time. If you do it in a white area, which is quite popular and quite rich, they're on you in a flash. Like they will be there in all oh, twenty seconds, if that. They are spot, and it's like it does make you think. That's what it was like back then, and it is ve- it is very uncanny, and it's it's brilliant. It actually is brilliant. The only thing that really does let it down is the AI. It it should have been a lot better if you had just polished the AI up. You'd have been looking at a high nine. You're not looking at a high nine because of the the AI, but it is a bloody good score. I think I'll give it. I, I'm, I've been thinking about it for, for a while now. And I've come to the conclusion that I'm going to give it an 8.6. It, it would have been so much more if they'd have just done the AI properly. Or paid more attention just to certain details. Just the, just, just the, just the AI. That was it. That's the, I mean, a lot of people would say it's repetitive in some cases. But it's not repetitive in, in terms of being boring. Mm-hmm. Would I recommend it to you two? Yeah, I would. That's a definite, because it is a bloody good game. I would also make a point if the DLC looks awesome. I can't remember the exact details, but I remember when I first read it, I just went, Season Passport! It is, it is going to be awesome, I think, the DLC. I don't know when it's coming out, but it will be brilliant, and there's three big expansions that they're in, including an entire new area up in the north. So it will be good. Is that review done then? Fucking hell, straight away, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ah, I was just asking. Uh, did I do a review for Dragon Ball Z, by the way? Yeah, yeah you did. Number two? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sad. So, moving on. Seeing as these two are the seasoned veterans, I'll let them take all of it. In fact, I'll let you take all of this. Um, us go, chaps. What's the best shooter? Going. Battlefield. What do you mean, best shooter? What's Battlefield, Matt? Oh, I thought you went new with them. No, what's Battlefield, Matt? I'll answer for Matt, it's a shooter. It's I not thought a you were saying that he was the best shooter out of both of us. That's what I thought he was saying. I don't care, just get on with it. I, I couldn't give a flying Mate. Right. But, shut up. Battlefield 1 come out, what, end of November? It was October, mate. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, heavy, heavy shit. Uh, yeah, and obviously, as you'll know, the three of us picked the copy up on release day. Yeah, we did. We and did. Um, I'll be honest with you, it, I thought it was really good. I, I do like, obviously, the change in scenery. Um, it, I like it on the campaign. I think that that's a good one. We, we need to start a new campaign because I've got to be brutally honest with you. I played BF4's campaign and then played BF1's. Have uh, uh, they been kicked up the arse or something? Because the campaign is fucking brilliant, Battlefield 1. Being the way they got six different ones. Not so much that it's got six. F- five, well, five of oh, six if you include the prologue, yeah. yeah. Um, like, it feels like if someone's gone to writing school in the bat- at EA and just gone, we need a campaign. To be fair, I like the Battlefield 4 one. It was actually... Mm, it was good. Anyway. In terms um, of gameplay, yes, but in terms of story... Uh, what was the story for BF4? Oh, uh, the Chinese yeah, fucking coup or something. Wow! You gave me South or something like that. Oh, it's, it's yeah, ironic how... I mean? <laughs> it's always ironic how... It's the Chinese. Yeah. China! <laughs> it's always ironic as always. It's like, oh, we'll go for the Suez Canal. The Yanks haven't got a base on the Suez Canal. I oh. know. Anyway. Well, because that's us that I've got the base in the series canal. Anyway, but. in Battlefield 1. Battlefield 1's got six different characters you can play as for the campaign. Yeah. So you've got six different stories. 
So there's it's the, one tank guy. Uh, yeah, there's the fighter pilot. Yeah, yeah. which is an American Arabia. gambler. Saudi Arabia, which is Lawrence of Arabia. Yeah, yeah but you don't actually play Lawrence. No, no, because that'd be wrong. Um, you got two others. Yep. There's one German. The Australian. The Australian. Do you think it's played as a German as well? No. Yeah. But he's an Italian. Okay, that's the Italian. Because in World War One, the Monte Italians Gra- were It's Monte actually, Grappa, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. The Italians are the brain of World War One. World War Two, we folded early, 1943. Hey, they are the, they are the brains who at least quit while they were ahead. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 swim the dictator off as well by a petrol station, but you know, we won't go there. You did? Yeah, carry on. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, obviously, each part of the campaign has a few missions. So it's like four or five from, each, isn't it? Some some of them have three, some of them have four, some have five. Did you want to? I know. <laughs> you uh, come too soon, Morris. Please don't say that again. Please don't say that. Like, please. I'm sa- I'm going to say it now because it just creates a lovely, funny tension in the air. Um, <laughs> obviously, the obviously the Italian one has the shortest set of missions with two. Um, so the other ones have respectable three or four. I, I, need to, I need to say something. Sorry. Oh, for fuck's no, I've, no, it's I no. It is. <laughs> I've got to do it. I've got to do it because you know the the Italian one, right? This is this is my I haven't played it. My. What do you mean you haven't played the Italian one? Have Why you, not? How many have you played? Two. Why have you been? What the fuck? Dragon Ball Z, F one. Fuck I'm throwing a tablet. I'm throwing. <laughs> anyway, which uh, Final Fantasy? Matty, fuck off! You haven't touched Project. Project. No, you haven't. He touched it, picked it up, and then put it down. <laughs> <laughs> put it in skin. No, 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 right, no, no. Anyway, we're, we're talking about Battlefield 1. The problem I have with the Monty Grappa story is you know the iron suit he has? What? You know he has, a, he, has a, he has a bloody metal metal armour, doesn't he? Yeah. In, right. Is it just me or is that a bit over the top? Over the top. It's a bit over the top. Because I sat there and I was like. Was it like a juggernaut, is it? No, it's like how could you? Explain? No, it is. It's supposed to be the face. It is supposed to, armor. and it's like it's it's OP is not the right word. But every every nation experiments with it, but no rumor like it's not confirmed or not confirmed. It's sort of in the midway. Not if you believe it, you don't believe confirmed. it. <laughs> <laughs> no, the thing. No, to be fair, I know what Mikey's trying to say. But the point is, it's like in the actual gameplay itself, you could run through there on what what hard difficulties the the top one isn't it in the campaign I think. Yeah. yeah. you could run through that, ver- that that story part very easily without taking cover I'm you right aren't I I, I, I did it not one the, not on obviously hardest I did because I always when I get a new game Normal. I always go for like media, the medium mm. sort of uh, difficulty I literally went through that one it must have been in about 15 minutes but it was so it was, we were stupid, talking, it was we, so stupid we, I did sit I think th- you were doing the, the pilot one you were still doing the first one when I got on yeah. the second bit it was honest it's Matthew just, when you get to that point it is it's so easy it's stupidly easy but like, I like how hard it is the second bit this, I suppose they count I suppose yeah, well, yeah I suppose they counteracted it didn't they but the, the point was is like it's a historically accurate game. Very. To some extent. The Very. first prologue is definitely. The first prologue was brilliant. It's exact. But obviously, it's supposed to give you the feel of. But if you run out of ammo, like. if you're that good on Battlefield, and then you still get. Yeah, you still get killed, which is just like. And you play as different soldiers as well, like it carries on until eventually you run out of people to play as. You only have four. Four, yeah. The, oh, the thing is. <sighs> I'll be honest though, the best one for the in terms of gameplay, the best campaign mission that they did was the fighter jet one. I fucking loved that. Oh, it was so much fun, it was brilliant. Even like the story the in it was brilliant. But the best one by far was the tanks. The story in it, the gameplay. The fact you can have to sneak around. The fact that you have to tank. sneak, I, I just thought that is a plucky British underdog story right there, wasn't it? It was absolutely... I like the pigeon. You see the pigeon flying through the battlefield, seeing everything happen underneath. Oh, my... F- no, he's, no, only, no, he's right. You know, yeah, he's right. That yeah, was but such the a only good. thing he noticed... Oh, I like the pigeon. What else was there in that storyline, Matt? Mortis onto the tank. You think, expect the tank to go up. No, no, no. no. What else was in that story, Matt? I'm not to the very end yet. I'm still going through. So you're actually still on the first mission no. of that? I'm at the part of the bunkers. You have to sneak through the bunkers. 
Yeah. Like, tanks just waiting there and it Yeah, up. that's the second mission. It's not the second fucking that mission. It, it is. It's the last one. It's not. It's not. It's the second it's the one. It's the second one. I think it's the third one, I think. No. Because, There's to be honest with you, when you get to the, towards the end, the final mission of the so tanks, you, honestly... You repair, I've repaired the tanks. Are tank. you going through a forest? Done that part. It's the, the final part of the forest. Right, so he's at the third part. That's where he is. It's five parts. He's not. Do you know what he hasn't done yet? Have you... Have you he hasn't gone through the town. He hasn't gone through the town, no. That's why. You haven't gone through the town yet. No, oh, that's the part I want to... Yep. Yeah, that's... Yeah, the town. And then there's the, the actual final part, which is brilliant, because that's like that just sick, under yeah. siege. Honestly, I'm not giving any spoilers away, but it is brilliant. That's good. The guns will, like, glow <laughs> red. Let's put it that way. Easy. Let's be honest with you. I, I, I was, don't look at me like that. Just disgusting. It was, it was a pleasant surprise playing this campaign. I oh, would you prefer it? A unicorn runs across the field and someone shoots it. No. Exactly, so there you go. Battlefield, you shoot horses. <laughs> no well, horses were career. Uh, no horses were hard horses. in this gameplay. <laughs> I shift they were dead. <laughs> the, um, we Honest, honestly, though, I think the campaign, overall, the, the, okay, there's a few weak points, but it's a... FPS, it's quite difficult for an the FPS. It's mainly focused on multiplayer, though. It, to be fair, it, well, I don't, it didn't feel as such this time, I don't yeah, think. No, I'm not. No. That is but sick, isn't it? Stop looking at Amazon. But the thing, you're supposed to be doing this review anyway. Like, I, don't, I do think the campaign was very good. Yeah. For what five many fights. I'd say my favourite ones. Probably it's got to be the tank and the fighter. The fighter? Yeah, the fighter joke was brilliant. I love the. Mm. Um, the runner that was a good one you the Australian I thought it was good when I first, it was the first one I did and it was very good and then I played the other ones and I was like oh these are better but, uh, do you know what I thought but the hardest one though was probably the Lawrence of Arabia one because the final part yeah yeah the agree with that the, the, uh, like do you when you've got to um, kill like the commanders to get the pigeons don't you yeah well one of the trophies you can get is if you um, what is it if you hit all three, you like melee kills. But yeah, then, I got, I got it. Yeah. Okay, I did that, but then I walk through the codex, and it tells you to get that codex page. You got to do three different kills. You got to kill one with yeah. a tank, one with a rifle, and I think one with um, melee. I think. Me, yeah, something like that. I just like fuck's sake. <laughs> Some guy EA hundred. Sports. The team, I was like, okay guys, we're gonna make a trophy and we're gonna do this and he's gonna link together. Oh, yeah, we're make a trophy and we're gonna fuck you all. I did that whole <laughs> mission stealth. So I did. And then I got to the do where the ruins are. Yeah. And it fucking see <laughs> me. So like, oh, so I'm literally running. You from the um I know where we are. The and armored ones for like hours. Like, anyway. Anyway. Yeah. Um, moving on to multiplayer. We're moving on to multiplayer, and I'm going to let you take control here because you are the battlefield veterans in terms of age. Thank you. Um, right. I can Bath- get that. Battlefield One. Yeah, the maps. I, I like the contrast of the differences. Obviously, you got some maps that are obviously urban based. Woodland uh, desert. Okay. Uh, what's the castle one? That's looks ballroom like, blitz. Yeah, his ballroom blitz. The okay, castle's like it? semi desert. No, mine's Neves in France. What? I do like ballroom blitz, but Neves, the one in France, this French town's the best, the best one for me. I love that. Oh, uh, I'm on. Neves. Off topic, guys. That's what I'm trying. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to tell him, but he's just like I've just. Is just, it just suburbs one? Where's like the train track goes through the middle? Yeah, the train yeah. track with the bridges. Yeah, suburbs with the means. It? That's what I said. I That's why I said it means. <laughs> um, obviously, you got you know, de- like massive desert maps, forest, urban. Mm. So like they're all set in different areas of the world. Obviously, where there's the conflict. Oh, there's the mountain range one as well. Monte Grappa. That's the one. Um, <laughs> or there's Foul Fortress. Um, we could name all the maps, but the overall they're all good. Yeah, they are good. Graphics yeah, wise, they're good, yes. Yeah. Detail wise. Um, In terms of gameplay wise, I think they're all great. Yeah. And I, I know we don't. We all have ones that we don't like, but in terms of gameplay, they're all great because they all have their moments of fun. Yeah. Mm. Trains. You, you know, I mean, I know you don't like boring blitz, 
I'm, but I'm I, but, to with it, yeah, just but to be honest with you, it is a brilliant map because there's always something going on somewhere at one yeah. point. Well, well, yeah, one yeah. thing that has ticked me off of that map is the boat it doesn't last that long. You just see little, little um, boats just charging you, and you're like, I can't shoot you. <laughs> Ballroom Blitz, a boat. What boat? Yeah, the. Um, are we talking about the same castle map here? No, we're talking about yeah. Ballroom Blitz. Uh, Ballroom Blitz is the chateau. He doesn't know what that is. Yeah, I do it's know. a French man. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> You're thinking of Foul Fortress? You're thinking of the Fortress one, yeah. The, thi- the thing is, right. The only way he knows that is because he, he, it was the first time he destroyed what he Co- destroyed Right, anyway, anyway. Zone. What you, you two play Battlefield 4 to the point where your controller's broke. Uh, yeah. Twice. Twice. Yeah. Twice. <laughs> so, what is the gameplay like for you two? Uh, I love it. I. The one f- issue I've got with it though is the weapons, like the way they've got it laid out. So you've got like, the same gun, but three times, but three different attachments. Fair enough, it, obviously you got black ball, this, that, the other. Uh, but to get like a sight on it, you've got to buy a different rifle and... Level up as well. Well, generally that's what you've got to do anyway in the game. But, you know, it's like all these little things you've got to do to just change one aspect of the gun. Mm. I, I thought I was just like, it's, it's not like, fair enough there wasn't as many say, sniper rifles, shotguns, machine guns, anything like that in World War One. Because obviously back then it was still um, self-loading, bolt action, shotguns. Yeah. It was a basic sort of, so I can sort of understand why they've gone for that sort of, say, hit in the park. Obviously, when it comes, if they do like a Battlefield 2 or whatever, you know, say if there's going to be like World War 2. I doubt it. No, if they do, do that. Wait too many times. No, I, I reckon it'll be a more of a. Like. I don't know how to explain it, but obviously a mix. What you're saying is the game's limited by the fact that the number of weapons that were in the actual real life. That's I'd probably to have to say that, yeah. Can you fault the game for that though? I no, I'm not faulting it. I'm just. No, I mean, if if someone were to fault, you can't, can you? Really? You could choose a later time to base the game. Yeah, but then that would really, have been that World War Two, wouldn't it? Object on World yeah. War. Yeah, but if you'd have done like you've just said, it's been done too many times. Or do a fair number. Been done, done too, too many, many times. times. Plus, Battlefield have already done it. That is true. They have Battlefield Vietnam. Yeah. Then the only way they could have done less weapons of it is if they went to medieval times and just done one bow and arrow. But that's not Battlefield. battlefield. <laughs> Even can't I know that. That's where foot honour and all that come in, and you can't let you do that. The thing, the thing, I mean, in terms of the actual like gameplay itself, for the the guns, everything, as like I actually really enjoy it. I, I reckon, like the team. I, re- I really enjoy it. Gameplay wise, it's good. Teamwork, it's good. Can, yeah, team I can't. I can't. Die, I can't yeah. To be honest with you. It's, you know the historical accuracy of some of the thing, like some of the weapons. I do sit there and I think that's actually spot on. Like, I did the you see, I, do, as well. I, do, I do sit there and the descriptions I've done are like yeah they mentioned they things. They are probably the Yeah, they do. They, you know they've done it properly. They haven't fucked about with it. The way they unlock the guns that's a bit fucking annoying. What? I, but was it? What was it like in Battlefield? You just four? you just ranked up and you got it. But with this, you have to rank up then save up the cash to buy yeah, but stuff. But it makes you. What to play more? Oh, really? What to comp? <laughs> Even though I haven't played it the most, but yeah, same fucking out. No reason. No, that's the three, three different, different guns. Well, the three different versions for the gun. That's just yeah, no, but you could have just had one gun and then three different freaking attachments to unlock. Yeah, I suppose that would. I mean, in, even in my head, that makes sense. Yeah, but three different. It's like standard optical and then yeah, trench. assault the trench. It's stupid. I, fair enough. I'd, I'd kick off. Oh, I don't like there's not enough machine guns. But like I said, World War One. I. I like the um, the only machine guns that were there was the Gatling gun. And the um, the MG thirty six. Apart from was. what I can only class as little things. Is there any big thing that pisses you off with the game? I've got one big thing it that pisses me off, but it's times. not to do with. I probably got. It's just not as the, fun. The thing, the thing with you though, Matty, and it's historically known is that you get bored easily. Not with Wonder, not with um, Battlefield Four. I used to play that non-stop. Even he knows that. 
No, but I mean, Battlefield 4 aside. Battlefield 4 was fast paced. I mean, faster than this. Well, but obviously that's Yeah, but you've got to remember, Matt, that you don't have Abrams tanks, jet. Well, you have jet, obviously, it's just planes. You don't have helicopters. You don't have. You have cars, you have bikes. You don't have horses. rocket launchers. No, you don't have rocket launchers, but you've got to have a stand. Uh, machine guns, you don't have to, like, every 30, 40 rounds. I, I have to, like, air it out because that, that's what I sort of like about you know, the heavy machine gun mm. class so if you see if you're using the um, like the big looks like a, a brown gun mm. if you shoot it for so long it gets hot you've got to literally it opens up like an air valve on it oh the mirror it, the mirror you can just fucking go all day you know the, you know the like the little belt on it yeah yeah I'm talking about like, it's like a hundred round magazine what and no the mirror you've got to slow down the mirror what? That's for a um, recoil, isn't it? No, the Mary, it's, it's an SMG. It's, it's got 100 rounds in it. The Mary, it's like a. With the French one? SMG is a small machine, it's not a massive mag. I'm just. I, I know you say it, but. Ah, okay. <laughs> wow, the reviews can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> Can you think of anything now? Because I've got one thing, it's not to do with the game as such, what it is, but. I'll tell you one thing I do really enjoy about it though. No. I said pissed off, not enjoy. <laughs> Before we go on to the pissed off or yeah. operations. Have you operations played is operation? Good operations is good. Which fun. one's that? Who captured the pigeon? I like that one. <laughs> Explain to him what operations is. Operations, right. Is go to all the play and the operation yeah, thing yeah, I was like, oh it's really good. Yeah. Well basically what you do is you go into it, it'll, be like, it'll give you like a set of story. Yeah, like a story behind it. So obviously there's the Kaiser Shroud. I've played it. Which, what? I remember playing it. Yeah. Well, basically what that is, it's like a set of maps. So it's, it's effectively it's just like what Rush. Battlefront did with Star Wars. Uh, yeah, it is, isn't it? You can you can tell you can tell the yeah, A's there, can't you? You can tell mm. they, they are very similar things. And that this is what pisses me off about Battlefield One. How many maps are there to begin with? It's it's Five, six. Six, six, isn't it? And they, yeah. they're releasing... Uh, what's a grapper? Ballroom Blitz, Fell Force, Sunny Desert, Argon Forest. That's it, five. Yeah, oh, the there's the, the town desert. That's The small town with the train track on the side on the river. Suez. So you're telling me there's seven maps? Yeah, that's all that started with Battlefield 4 as well. Isn't it a fucking con now? Yeah. That they're bringing 24 maps out. Are they? It, and it, oh, I think it might be, or something like that. Oh, they're maybe. bringing... Oops, it might be 16, actually. 16 DLC maps for the same price as the game and the season pass. Does that? Is it just me, or does that just sound like a fucking con? That's a con. It's a con, isn't it? I've, I mean, that's why I didn't buy the season pass, because I sat there and I thought, they just taking the piss. Do you want to know how many I don't. Well, you're going to tell us in a minute, so you might as well keep storm until so. we get to it. But like, it's just like, yeah, did, yeah. did he, did no, he think please. we're fucking stupid? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, obviously they do. They did they this did. with Battlefield Four. They yeah. made us pay for the extra maps. They did it with Battlefront. Yeah. Yeah, doesn't it? Battlefront. I'm thinking of other the games they've done. Hardline. Did that. They did with Hardline. Yeah, they Battlefield did. Battlefield Three. Need for Speed. Need for Speed. Want a new car? Oh, you want to pay thirty quid. <laughs> To be what, fair, you want, want a new you want a upgrade? Oh, that's twenty pound. You want you want a new you want a new do you want a new car? Get a new fucking game instead. <laughs> to be fair, the battlefront ones. Well, Matty's phone. Matty's phone. The fuck kills me. Matty's phone. The battlefront ones are quite decent, though, to be fair, but and the, it wasn't that expensive. The, the thing was, though, this is. 20, uh, Once you got your paycheck, it doesn't seem that much. But once no, you, but you see what I mean. Yeah. It's like it's it's a rip off, and for me, that's. It's, it's to the point where I'm sat there thinking no 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 don't do master. the problem is it's like you're just impacting the game there because you're just like but those at what? least it's a season pass 40 I'm sure the season pass is 40 quid I'm not getting it no it's like what the flying you know what I mean they can lose customers by doing that just by doing that it's, like, it's, it's such it's such a good I mean, game just buy the premium fucking game what they always release the premium game like a year after for the You might as well wait and just until everything's come out and then buy it because it's been like 15 quid. Like The Witcher, that. I fell for that. Got the main game, bought the two expansion passes separately. That's the thing. This is the thing now. And I now it's sold for 27 quid in Tesco. Right, this is this is what I'm on about. You can't buy a game on release date really anymore because it'll be either broken in some places 
or a few months down Assassin's the line, Creed. you'll have a fucking brand new game, all the DLCs with a game of the year thing. It's like if you want a game that you really, really want, just wait a few months. You, no, if you want, no, if you want a game that you really, really want, like Persona Five. To be fair, Persona Five is an exception because it's already out. But like, uh, let's let's think. If you want Crash Bandicoot remastered, you can go out and get that on the first day. Because if it's a game you really, really want, then you can be excused for it. But if it's a game you sort of like, oh, I might get it. Just wait a few months. Yeah, it'll come should, down in pr- that, yeah. It'll come down in price. It'll be patched completely, and they'll probably have all the expansions and everything. I like like, like Fallout did. Like Fallout did earlier this year. You know, I got Assassin's Creed remastered, didn't I? Yeah. I shouldn't. <laughs> shouldn't have. I should just wait. Same with the bat. Well, to be fair, like Batman too much. I can't say no to that. It's the Assassin's Creed. Like, you know your story, so you, you, you buy just, it thinking just... you're going to play it all the time. And then it's like two missions, then it's off. Uh, you, but yeah, that's a, that's the point. It's like, if you if you like a game and you want to buy it, but you think, oh, it's not on my, in my main list, then just wait a few months. It's like, you know 2017 is going to be a frigging big year for gaming. Mm-hmm. It's going to be huge. I can guarantee myself now that I'm going to buy four games on release day, and that's about it. I can't see me buying it's anymore. I can buy, see me buy two. Spider-Man's not coming out next year. You it's, need to get that in your skull. It's, it's not going to come out in 2017. I guarantee it. It will be 2018 Q1. Okay, it's one game then, Persona. <laughs> Persona, great. Crash Bandicoot. Got to be getting that release date. Come on. Okay, two. Two, there you go. F1 2017. Three. <laughs> <laughs> That's gone up to five for me now. FIFA actually. 18. <laughs> I'm not, I don't know. Oh, come still, on, FIFA's the To be, to be brutally honest with you, this year's FIFA has not put me off next year's FIFA, so I probably will. Yeah. We've gone way off topic, by the way. But I've uh, no, to be honest with you, I was just mentioning that and we have gone off topic. But in terms of re- review score, I'm going to go to the most pessimistic one out of all of us. Matty. Graphics wise, it's quite very well. Yeah, it's great. It's lovely. The detail for the maps, spot on. Yeah, really good. Horse detail when you're riding the horse. Brilliant. No! <laughs> Just don't get shot on it. Um, driving the tanks. Matthew, you're a fucking tank on a horse. Shit. No, not you. I'm talking about on the game. Oh, yeah. yeah. You shit on that as well. <laughs> <laughs> driving a tank in first person is quite good. You shit at that as well. Mm, sure. Since it's not like the modern tanks, you can't rotate. Need... So. Yeah, like... Exactly, so it's fine. You don't have yeah. LMGs and all this. Oh, well, you do. Yeah, you but do, each but space has got like a certain gun they can only yeah. use. The fact you have three different tank types is brilliant. Exactly. The, you have the heavy, the armoured, and the light. Mm-hmm. And the artillery truck. I haven't used that yet. Technically, it is a tank it's technically, a tr- but you know, it, it's, a, it's a strange guy. There's the three types of fighter planes, which is funny to. Fly. They're brilliant. Now that I've got my controls hooked up, and I have to fly hey, it. You know, you can have secondary weapons for the um, single fighter player as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't realize you can drop like nails onto the ground to attack him. That's brilliant. You know, the nails is mainly to stop tanks. Yeah, that's nice. To stop infantry. It's what it says in the description. Stop infantry. They're not always right, you know. You can stop tanks with them as well. I don't know if it's a glitch in the game, but you can stop tanks. Imagine that. Them. Just one little nail going to a tank. Dink. <laughs> kill the bug. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Multi kill. Well, go on then, what would you give it? Because you can't really find fault with I it. I can't fault it, but I just get bored. I don't know why. Because oh. you're you and you get bored easily. Dragon Ball Z, I'm always on it. Battlefield 4, I was always How on it. How long's Dragon Ball Z been on for though? Oh, like three, four months. And I'm still playing the card yesterday. Yeah, but let's be honest, you and Japanese games go hand in hand very well. Uh, to some extent. No, it's very well, to all extents. F1, I'm on that all the time. Persona 5, uh, not, not Project Cars, I'm on that all the time. Oh. Yeah, exactly, you see what I mean? You come back to it. I come back to it. I do come back to it. Uh, I'd say 8, because everything's spot on, I just get bored. Okay. I can't, and you know what? I'm not going to change your opinion on that because there's no point. Um, Cheers. You're just stubborn when it comes to a review score. What Mikey! Did you give what? what did you give it? Eight. It's did not a perfect game. Oh, fuck off, man. No, he's right. It's not a perfect game. If it was 8. a perfect 5. game, it would be a ten. 
Yeah, I think I'd probably go over for 8.5 to be honest with you because obviously, like you said, there's stuff it has to improve on. Season pass is one big massive downfall. I can't blame the game for that, I only blame EA. Yeah, but they made the game. Dude, oh my god. I know, I know what That's you mean. like blaming Aston Martin for making a shit car one year and a good one the next. Yeah. Yeah, that's their fault. It is their fault. <laughs> <laughs> that was a terrible. It's not the car's fault. It's do you know what I mean? Well, no. Yeah, is, well, it shouldn't have been born then. <laughs> What's well, not that piece of metal's fault? Is it? You can class the season pass as part of the game. You can't do. You can. You can't. Part of the game. You can because you, it's part uh, of the game. No, you, you, no. This is two to one here, Mike. You've been outvoted. But the, the point is, is <laughs> the point is, you can't. I'm gonna refer to. You can't blame Battlefield One, the game itself, for not. Ha- you, you can in a way, but you can only blame EA for not putting more content in that they should have no, done. I'm not denying that. I'm just the saying. Fact you have like twice as much. Um, no, I'm not maps. saying that to Matty, not you. The fact you have twice as many maps going in the DLC than you do in the main game already. It's not even twice. It's almost free. <laughs> exactly. So it is an absolute rip off. And the fact they're charging so much for it as well. Just to be bright and honest with you, lads, I think I'm starting to enjoy the multiplayer on COD now more than I am on Battlefield. I'm going to slide into an 8.3 because I'm quite happy there. I don't know why I've not given it more because I would have done. Average 8.3 for all of us then. No. 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 But the thing, that, the thing for me <laughs> is that it would have been a 9 had it not been for the season pass. Being just an absolute rip off mm. on it, I just, I just, I just don't see why it's that expensive, and I don't see why it's not in the game <laughs> when it could easily be. I know we're the getting, a, I know we're getting a free, I know quid. we're getting a free map this month, but it's like wow, one map, one map. You know what I mean? It's just like we buy the game for like fifty quid, exactly. Yeah, and the game and the charge of now. Production. I'm gonna go t- uh, to the El Toilet while Mikey gives everyone a review about their thingy. Call of Duty Infinite War Bubble. Yeah. Uh, on Infinite War Bubble, right. Set in the future. Basically, on the. It, it's basically set uh, regarding the future, obviously. Uh, people have then gone and. Colonel. Yeah. 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 Basically, we send people over to Mars to start, obviously, a colony. And, obviously, from there, it's obviously expanded. But on, obviously, tensions have started to go adrift and things have changed. And that was two separate... Um, yeah, there's two separate um, art, you know, types of... Uh, obviously, the set death, which is the people from Mars... Which is a mainly um, uh, a military sort of a dictatorship, nice. and then we've got the UNSA, which ironically is always every when you see a game at set in space, some other capital always ends up being fucking Geneva, but yeah, we won't go there. Um, yeah, so basically, it is funny though. It, yeah. Um, you, you play as Nick Reyes, you're a SCAR team leader. Can I just interject just for one quick moment? Why did Call of Duty always like come up with some of the weirdest protagonist names? Nick Reyes. Nick yeah. Reyes. Why are they always, I, why are they always I, like I, Latin American? Get this. It's like a, it's an American first name and like a South American second name. Yeah, and guess what? The head of the Marines on the same ship's called Omar. <laughs> Partly <laughs> he's <laughs> British. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, go on. Yeah. Go on. Um, basically, um, obviously you're a SCAR team leader, which is Special Combat Aerial Recon. Fucking hell. <laughs> Come on, carry on. Yeah, anyway, so what... Um, this story starts is you're a different character, so your team goes into this black site. Off, What's uh, a black site? It's... It's like the Red Zone Division. No. no, 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 no. Black site is a unknown classified area. Oh, okay, cool. Basically, so like what they do is, you, it goes dark, so you get yeah your team gets sent in. It's obviously different characters. Like, she so gets sent in to obviously retrieve the weapon, but obviously the enemies there set death trying to get that weapon. 
obviously I won't ruin what happens for you obviously if you want to play it mm. so I'm sure I'm but obviously it evolves from there and then like the next day like back on earth um, you're you're Nick Reyes now for the rest of the campaign so it explains from what happens from peace to the war and all this and stuff um, but it, it's quite fun because um, don't tell me it's got one of those one of those fucking horrible quotes like before war there was peace <laughs> like no. every fucking way in the world <laughs> nah. I'm glad um, it doesn't have it's that it's like it's like a f- like a presentation like Fleet Week you know so you've got all those, the ships coming in okay and, okay and then um, you meet obviously two characters you meet like three characters you're in there so you've got Nick Reyes which is your character Admiral Reigns which is head of you know, obviously the navy, and you've got um, salt. Okay, yeah, it's, it's sorry, you know, because it's set free I'm trying yeah. to get my head around it, but yeah, it's um, salt. Who's like your wingman, like your second in command, sort of thing. Yeah. So like you and him are like, good mates, and then you you get told, oh, E three N. You think it's some sort of special project, which it is. You get onto this like transporter. It's a robot called Ethan. It's his fucking car. Oh, yeah. oh my god! Do you know what the character is sick? Oh, I was all on board until it said E three N. Oh, why can't he just call it Ethan? Enhanced human. Wait, you get on the robot. Yeah. No, yeah. does it start to sound? Yeah. Like, I thought that's what you said. Yes. You, with your fucking brain, thinking of different things. So, so you meet him, and I'm like that's your new, like one of your teammates. Okay. And then, um, obviously, then set there through the enemy, attack Geneva. So then you've got it, obviously. Okay, okay, we can, we can see where oh. the plot's going. I, the questions I have is what is the gameplay like? Visuals. It's actually Let's, quite good. I don't see if there's a lot of visuals. You know, it, maybe. it is quite good, to be is fair. I was go- quite is surprised. It, is it fun? Yeah. I it, it's got, it is quite a hit, yeah, a bit. You know, like some. like because obviously through the campaign you lose like one or two members. have you done any wall jumping yeah what's it like sick <laughs> can you do it how close is it the yeah, um, maps what? no hang on we're going through single player stuff right. is, is, I mean you've played through the story what did you think of the ending do you know what I thought it was quite sad but I thought it was like, quite badass was it better than Advanced Warfare's ending yeah mm. like, Advanced so, Warfare as we I remember I finished that game Kevin Stacy's like, don't drop me, and just like, nah, me, <laughs> drop your arm off the Spoiler. side. Spoiler! It, it, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it's Kevin Spacey. Why you do that, I don't know. But yeah, anyway. But this one, it is actually quite sad. The ending. Okay. To be fair. Cool. But uh, you can get like upgrades through the game. Um, so see, you start with, like level one, like you frag grenades oh, and okay, stuff. Okay. So, so there's like an XP system. Not an XP system, so like it's similar to that. Yeah, it's got like, main missions and submissions. So if you do the submissions, you get like all like the fancy little upgrades and that. So you can get like you find these terminals. Is there any incentive? Re- is there, is there a point of doing the submissions before the main missions? Yes. Okay. Because they uh, they get yeah weapons. They you because you, you scan the weapons, and you get the, the statistics for them. You some schematics. And then you can use them in later missions. In terms of visuals, because Matty said it, what what are we looking at? I'm not I'm not bothered about if the graphics look great or anything. What's the frame rate like? Is pretty it stable? Strong, is it stable? Pretty stable. Okay. Um, obviously the only issues you have is lag. You know when you're alive, but obviously everyone's gonna have that. Okay. All right. Okay. So the, the, the question I have. All right. You know you've said the gameplay is fun. The multiplayer is fun. You know map design. You haven't answered that yet. Is it good? Decent. No. Like is it close quarters or bit? Or is it long shot? Because I heard a lot. I heard a, I heard a fair amount of saying it was some of it was long shots. It is to be fair. Yeah, some is long shot because there's a, one of the side missions is you've got to save these engines. I mean, on the multiplayer maps. Oh, um, there's a few. There's a few to be fair. A few close quarters, a few long. Yeah. Okay. Like it's mainly mixed. Though, do you know what I mean it's so? But it's good. The 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 other the questions that I have. Is there any bad things? Are there any bad things about it? I mean, let's let's well, look at Call of Duty. There's zombies as well. Let's look at. I mean, when I were about zombies and everything, but I I want to. 
are there any bad things? And let's not talk about you know, the past Call of Duty's, just look at this one. Is there anything bad about it? I've seen this, I went open minded. Do you know what I mean? I was like, you know what, I'm not going to hold anything against it. I'm just going to go in with a straight mind and obviously shoot ahead. Um, I probably got to say. Is there anything that disappointed you? Yeah. I mean, I'm not asking. Does it feel like a COD game? Because obviously it's different. Yeah. But did it? Did you? In, uh, is what disappointed you then? And basically, what what's disappointed me a bit is on the zombies. It's not like zombies used to be, because you and me, I like, I'm mad. On I was mad on zombies. And As well. But on this one, for some unknown fucking reason they thought here you go if multiply you can get attachments you should get attachments in this one as well and it's just like why Hot in wait zombies. so you can get attachments while playing in zombies yeah do you remember in zombies you get the standard weapon you pack a punch it and then you get you can get dual mags yeah, the sights that. and all that well in this one you don't get that so do what you happens you don't even get pack a punch well you get pack a punch but See, you've got to get that le- weapon to a certain level, but it's linked with your multiplayer. So I've got an M1 Grant and M1, you the old service, you know, World War Two weapon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got that as it, that's one of the star rifles you get. Um, so you tell me that you get to, you have the ability of customizing your loadout before you go into a zombies game. Yeah. Uh, but like, oh, I'm not a fan of that. It's weird because like. It used to be fun, you got one gun. You had a pistol to start off with, yeah. and then just. You do, you do, but you don't pick them guns up. It's like only certain places. You, so, do you remember like, the, uh, the box? The mystery box? Yeah. yeah. That's called the magic wheel now. Uh, Why'd they get rid of the box? Because it's actually that trade, that's trademarked by Treyarch, not Infinity Ward. That's the, well, what the idea is, the practice. I know, the same. Raven. Sorry, it's Raven that makes the game, not Infinity Ward. Okay. So obviously they can't use certain aspects. They could have asked to. Could have asked. They <laughs> <laughs> should have. <laughs> instead of making their own fucking but, spin um, the wheel yeah, special. Yeah, yeah, instead spin of one the wheel. Power switch. I feel like I feel like Bruce Forsyth should be like standing on the corner <laughs> spinning the wheel. A good game. Let's see what I've got. Right, right, right. Hi, yeah, all long at. Hi, yeah. He spins the wheel around. I guess a wheel. Oh, I don't get enough for a penny in this but game. But you're wolf. Just comes up with a teddy bear. <laughs> It's a blue uh, uh, but you'll love this. Um, you got a DJ in there. And guess who the DJ is? He's a big 80s movie star. I'll oh, give you. I'll give you. No. Three. I want to guess. Matty can. No, Matty won't guess. No. Give you three. I don't want to guess. Just two. No. DJ, you spanner. No, he is I've a big, fully he is a big movie star. <laughs> He is a big 80s movie star. What, Eddie Murphy? No. Oh, there's no point then, is there? He's, no, he's white. Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson! <laughs> Mel Gibson! <laughs> Famous for being basically becoming Braveheart in real life yeah. by being racist and an alcoholic. And beating his wife. Yeah, yeah beating his wife. No, I'm expecting on. the lawsuit in the morning, yeah? <laughs> David Hasselhoff! Oh, fuck. <laughs> hey, really? yeah, like a, ro- a robot goes round, right? Really? Mill, this is the cool bit. Uh, you can play as the Hoff. I don't want to play as the Hoff. I do! <laughs> no, but like, but you, do, think... you get like this robot and you do all the challenges for him and he goes off and he comes in with the Hoff and when he comes in, the Knight Rider theme plays and he's just like that on the robot. Yeah, let's get to work, kids. He's like... Proper sick, it's like oh, yeah, pretty yeah. No, oh, they've just started. Oh, sounds horrible, man. No, oh but... no, no. <laughs> I mean, I'd have to see it in action, but on the sounds of it, no. Okay. <laughs> um, no, I I enjoy, but like, what I don't get is it's mixed. Like, there's like they've got an AK forty seven. That's an energy rifle. They basically got the AK and put a few wires and boxes on it, so it turns it an energy weapon. Yeah, yeah. All right, you've. you've uh, but you've set, you've that's set, level four to get that. In no, most it's level forty-two. You've said that in zombies. It's level sixteen. 
Huh? Does the, uh, it's, uh, okay, right. Just let's let's just. Let's go off. Mikey, give it a score. I'm gonna say an eight point eight. Really, that good? Better than Battlefield One. Mate, honest to God. Wow. <laughs> no, mate, honest to God. <laughs> Imagine what it would have been like if you got Modern Warfare remastered with it. <laughs> Here you go, Matt. Do you want to review your Mazda 2 that my mate pretty much put back together for you? Yeah. Still shit. It's a 1.1! <laughs> exactly, yeah. Not with the driver included. <laughs> with the driver included, not even a 1. Nope. A 0.4. Nope. Well, good thing, huh? Um. No, but to be fair, I think it's quite good. Don't we have any more views? We do. I got a gas sister! We're not talking about not you talking and your spinning about wheels. That, wheel. um, <laughs> what is there is one last game that I've got to review and it's it's the, the successor to Matty's favourite game of 2015. <laughs> it's not Need for Speed. Oh my god. <laughs> it's Need for Speed too. <laughs> Matty <Matty'd> harder. <laughs> What cars you pick? Bubbles. Bubbles 2. Bubbles 3. Or Master 2. He's like. <laughs> Massey put a spoiler on it as well. Even oh, don't. Fun. Please. No. Massey put a spoiler on it, even though it's fucking front wheel drive and have no effect That's on it. That. Oh, it's a bit shit that way. Because you can't put a spoiler on a flight. Why would you want to put a spoiler Let's not go. I don't want to go. I don't want to go there. I don't, want, you... I, don't, I, don't, I don't want the force of trying to knock him out of my room again. Want to put a fucking spoiler on a F4. Is it a GT game? No, then you have no logical reason for putting a spoiler on a Ferrari. Did you put a spoiler on a Ferrari? Guess what the crew lets you do? Put a spoiler on a Ferrari. It's an open world game. Uh, it's is... better than Need for Speed. Yeah. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It is. <laughs> yes, so it is. So much better. Can you get a Nissan 200SX? No. Can you get a You can GTR? travel around the entirety of America yeah. and piss people off. That's fun. It's not America! You can play as a police The good to see you get is like the size of like this room. What's on what? The crew here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Laguna Sega, go, oh, turn. Oh, turn again. It's like there's nothing to Laguna Sega. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> as I was saying, I'm going to do my review for WRC 6. Uh... We listen to your review. Listen to my review. Listen to fucking Doctor <laughs> Strange. Listen to his fucking review. Basically, for you. anyone that doesn't yes, know, last, last year, Matty's favourite game came out, which for some reason he undeniably hated because of the ghost car and multiplayer. <laughs> two books! But didn't he come in second quite a few times? Yeah, he, he fails to announce that. Yeah. Obviously, me and you fair. Yeah. yeah. Trade from yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Did but you ever win? Oh, you didn't, did you? The thing is, I, I'm going to talk about it. <laughs> black cars. The thing is, WRC 6 <laughs> carries on from WRC 5. Now, a lot of the problems that were with WRC5 were too wide of tracks, not enough difficulty, car sounds were basically sound like a kid uh, scraping out of the bottom of a barrel. Uh, <laughs> that's what it was like. You know, lack of spectators. Fucking ghosts. Sorry, <laughs> what do you mean lack of spectators? There was no spectators. <laughs> lack of spectators. You, the, the most spectators there was was the, a tractor in Poland. At the oh, start, oh. at the start, finish line, and the finish line. <laughs> yeah, three. There was no people trying to take pictures on the track. There was, you know, there was many different things. You know, there was no super special stages that were done properly. Let me put it to you this way: WRC six has basically done what F one twenty sixteen has done. It's gone. Ta -da! and thrown everything in the stages are uh, so much narrower the career mode is a lot more rewarding the gameplay is fun the, it's like it's it's like WRC 5 has just blown up out of it, extinction and WRC 6 has swanned its way in and gone this is the game oh, that good this on, on, it's took that leap like F1 2016 to, from 15 dead it is literally the stages are challenging and fun the gameplay itself is fun. You do super special stages and you're racing up live against another car, so you can actually see another car you're racing up against on super specials. So they're the head-to-head -head tracks. The stage design, honestly, some of the stage designs are the best I've ever seen. It is actually really good in places, you know. It's, let's not forget as well, the United Kingdom's got more stages on its on its rally than all the others. Really? Yeah, it's got seven. <laughs> all the others have got a maximum of six. <laughs> 
It's got seven. Actually, no, I think I might have eight. Six and then two. Sp- yeah, it does eight. Yeah, sorry, it's got eight. The gameplay sounds are now a lot better. They're not. They're not like great, but they're better than Sebastian Loeb. So you know, it's it's in between Loeb and Dirt Rally. It's not Dirt Rally by any standards. You know, the game is. Let I'm gonna nail it down. It's not better than Dirt Rally, but my god, it's fun. It is really good fun to play. I don't know how much it was on the PSN store the other week. I think it was twenty two quid when they were doing sales, but. If I'd have known that before the sale, I'd have told you to. Because it is fucking great. It's a cracking game. Multiplayer. It's still slightly block texture. Uh. But the thing is, they've made it more transparent. And it actually isn't as tr- distracting as it once was. What? It's just right in front of you and then the corner goes... Woof, and they go... Whee! Into a tree. <laughs> Well, you did, though. Well, you did. <laughs> yeah, because you couldn't see the corner coming. Well, the you thing that could, Max, because it was a fucking blind bend. I'm not being oh, funny. You can't see a fucking corner. So, when you're driving... Yeah, when you turn down the fucking headset, go, Oh, yeah, I'm in first. No, I'm not. That's why you see that. Do we ever say that? <laughs> <Did we ever? laughs> I don't remember us saying that. Thanks, shut up. The thing is, the career mode, they've now, like... They've made it a bit more... Realistic. Although I will say one thing is that the last year um, I had a head mechanic by a first name of Isis. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this year I've had a few dodgy names. One of which is a derogatory manner toward black people. Yeah, it's not that word. It's a different one. I, mean, I don't know who's doing name generating at Killers and Games, but <laughs> something they need to look into there. The damage model is actually it's pretty, it's pretty good now. It's you know, it, no longer will you go up, get off my stuff. No longer will you go over a jump and then completely the car dies into third gear and then you end up laughing at everyone else because you're in third gear and you can't move. But you, the, the damage is almost overly sensitive in a sense because you can hit like a bump. Sometimes it's just like the little damage icon flashes up. You're not going to get any damage from it, but the icon flashes up. It's like a little too sensitive to what it actually is. It's a bit... It's not annoying, but it, you do sit there and you think, oh, I'm not going to get that trophy now. Unless you go really slow. The cars handle very well. Last year they were too floaty. This year it's more sort of... You can tell it's... Ar- it, not arcade wouldn't be the right word. It is... It has simulation techniques built within an arcade game, so there's weight transfer and everything like that. But it is fun. It's like I can't, I can't really single out many issues with the game because you've got this new thing now where you got you got like a showroom sort of thing. You don't purchase any cars, but you can actually just look at the cars in detail. Mm. It's just like it's a nice little add-on. The yeah. multiplayer plays well. There aren't any issues. I don't have any lag issues. I don't when I've been on it. What else? I mean, the career mode's nice to play. It's a bit more fulfilling. You get a podium celebration and that now, just like F1 2016 does. I say podium celebration, but it's a bit strange. And there's a couple of other little things. The actual, like, you know, when you used to finish a stage, the cars would always be 0.4 of a second behind you for some strange reason. Now it's actual proper times. And it is, it is it, even on, like, the third hardest difficulty, because there's four, it's still pretty tough. You know, it is really in some special stages which is about four kilometers long. You know, it is very hard to get more than five seconds ahead of some of them on hard mode, and there is expert after that, so God knows what that's like. The stages are a lot longer as well now. I mean, I think I was on one in Argentina the other day. It took me about eight minutes to get through it in a WRC car, <laughs> unlike last year, which it took two minutes to get through on a WRC car because <laughs> they were ridiculously short stages. But overall, the game is massively improved it's very good fun I would definitely recommend it to everyone if they want a fun time in a rally game because it, it offers a different challenge it's like on Dirt Rally you can nail a stage and you feel very gratified on WRC you get that same feeling even and it's just as tough in a different way but you still get that happy sense of I've just nailed that stage. Do you get old cars like on dirt? No. So it's just modern? It's WRC, WRC 2 and WRC 3. Wow. Loaches. 
Yeah, but the thing is, is like if you, I mean, I I agree that it could do with more car choices, but with this being only the second year of Killers and Games developing WRC six, I think they've done a good job. It's a it's definitely a marked bit, and it's now a sixty FPS game rather than a thirty like the last one was. So they've upgraded the visuals, and you can tell. I mean, it does suffer with you know frame rate drops here and there but it's more to do with the surrounding area and not the car which is a bit weird I don't know how they've done that but hey oh they have <laughs> I'm trying to think of I don't really think there's many problems with it well, I mean, in career mode how do you progress through obviously the juniors starts off with the juniors and work your way up it is, it, is, it is almost in a sense a bare bones thing but it does feel like the objectives of the teams are more realistic now compared to last season so like you can have a two season contract to like develop your goals and everything rather yeah. than just one season going from year to year I mean I've signed with M-Sport. Citroen WRC I didn't get a contract offer from Citroen after from Ford I got one from Citroen and from uh, the Eurolamp team which runs the Mini but it is you picked the French official manufacturer support two year contract compared to Mini which was only one year no, no. and they've got like little now you've got like in each thing you've got objectives to fulfil for like per rally so it could say one of them could be finished third on the super special or don't total you know don't break body parts on the car etc or do your stage time etc and it actually adds up towards your employability for next season it's actually really pretty cool if you don't succeed in all the objectives you can get into trouble with the team bosses though that's like an F1 yeah, but F one's a bit more fleshed out. This is just like you know, if basic. you don't do that, yeah, it's basic, but it's there. That's the thing. I can't. I'm trying to think of anything that. There's nothing really that winds me up, but I do enjoy it. It's a very fun game. I'll definitely give it that. Okay, what's your score? Score well. Where's the jelly beans? Cough more. Um. Cough up your fucking jelly beans, you bastards. I don't know. You, you, you're, uh, you're not guilty. There you go. I don't know. What you, I'm sitting on an. I'm sitting somewhere in the eight range. Because unlike last year, it was a seven. <laughs> last year wasn't like. Yeah. I'll give it an eight point eight. I, I'm actually very happy. With so it's even better than Battlefield One. You no, know, you can't say that because an FPS compared to a rally games doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very. Is it better than dirt? No. No. But the the thing is, Dirt and WRC six are like two separate games that have been approached. It's like that's a, Dirt Rally is a sim. WRC six is a, is it. not no no it's not an arcade. It's a simcade would be a better way of saying. Me and like, uh, it's got more. Like. It's got more sim like personalities to call it a sim rather than an arcade, but it's still got arcade properties. Like Apple. Speaking of the day, anyone want to go tonight? You'll get beat. I want to have a go. I've, I've been rally cross. I can't do rally cross. <laughs> oh yeah, mate. You should well, see me and him running. Oh my god, they crashing into each other. They were always dead funny. <laughs> and then that guy trying to push it. Like, nah, mate. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you giving it an eight? I'm giving eight point eight. It's, yeah. a, it's a very fun game. I, I honestly do... Do you want to tell us how you were acquired? This as well. I won a copy of it from a Team VVV competition. That's how I got it. That's yeah. yeah. They're running another competition for it if you want to get involved. Yeah. I had a lock the other day. There's nothing there. Uh, they're on the actual WRC website. They're giving copies away as well, so get in. Decent. Um, we haven't got any more reviews, have we? No, but we have one more thing Jesus, to talk about. Jesus, how bad it is, Matt? We yeah, haven't got more reviews, have we? Oh, fuck. Oh. I was just asking. <laughs> no. I've got a bit of gaming news. Quickly! Let's just bam on news quickly. You know Arkham Knight was Since meant to be... Since news going to bring the spot now. Ow, ow, ow. Go on. You know Arkham Knight was meant to be the last Arkham game they were making? Yeah. There's now a rumour saying it's going to be another one. And it's in development. That was it. Quick. Should be released in two years. Give or take. That's it. Done. <laughs> No. In car news, and that Toyota are thinking of making a Mark II of the GT86. 
What, you can drift around at two miles per hour? <laughs> the, t- the GC86 2. <laughs> two mile an hour drifting. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up, you charge. <laughs> no, um, it does actually look gorgeous to release the, the images of it. Uh, Toyota did. And you know what, mate? It actually looks quite nice. It's the same back end, uh, but they've uh, made the front end look quite a bit better, if you ask me. More st- not stylish, but more inviting. Uh, I think they've added some horsepower to the engine. Mm. But I can't remember how much. It was the other day when I was seeing it, sorry. So, but yeah. Um, yeah, that's coming for 2018. Cool. So the prices of the Mark 1s are going to go down. So, uh, Matty, if you want to call that works, mate, uh, GT86 and all that, yeah. <laughs> Matty's face is like, mm, wage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, now, more time. Next week is the awards ceremony for the podcast of 2016. Now, it's going to be a quick potty and then I take it. It's monumental. Oh, I forgot. Why do you always sound dead depressed? I'm not depressed. Oh, it's going to be a thought podcast. It did say it. It sounds like... <laughs> Sorry. Wait, you now, sound like Marvin out of Hitchhiker's Guys. The, the shit. No, it sounds like Marvin from friggin' Looney Tunes. <laughs> I'm very angry. No, the trip the robot. The ship. Yeah, it's, we're, not going, we're not going there. We're not going there. We're not going there. <laughs> so we want to know what the 12 categories are for this... So it's always 12 categories per year. Always ask me. Can we guess? No. no. Otherwise, we're going to be here for another 40 minutes. Me, I've, I've tried <laughs> guessing every single year, and he says no. And then five minutes later, we'll say exactly what I said. Right. Let's give up with it. First one. Best overtake of the year. Probably going to say, yeah. We're not there yet. We've got to wait for the week. Number two. Driver of the year. Yeah, definitely me. Oh, number three. We talking about driving gaming or actual driving and reality? Actual, actual driving. driving. We can't vote for ourselves. Oh, sorry, you can't leave it oh, by to the, way, the actual oh, by day the way, this time. By the way, we can't vote for ourselves in any of these. Well, so the best driver was only me and you then, because you can't drive. Do you want this fuck so far down your fucking Just <laughs> shut up, the pair of you. Number three. Oh, I'm seeing bits. A new, number three. A, number, a new category into the pod. Biggest scammer of the year. There's been a lot of those this year. Why is everyone looking at me? <laughs> I, I, I didn't even look at you. Number you just f- went. Number four, to be announced during the week because I can't think of something. <laughs> number five, surprise of the year. Number six, biggest disappointment of the year. <laughs> you seem to uh, I love that. it. I like Jack's just like, yeah. <laughs> Ain't no disappointment yep. here, motherfuckers. Number seven, soundtrack of the year. Now that can be to do with anything. Yeah. Number eight, car of the year. Yeah. Oh, obviously. My, my choice number, number would nine, win this. Number nine, worst car of the year. We had, His don't, choice. Forget, don't forget, we had the San Young Rodius last year. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no, number crazy. 10, game of the year. Yeah. Going to be a tough one. Yeah. Number 11, thing most looked forward in 2017, Spider Man doesn't count. Oh. Cause it, Actually, it, yes, it does. Yes, it does. Correction. The movie. No. No, it right. doesn't. Thing most looked forward in. Two in 2017, the movie is coming out next year. Can only have the only qualification it has to have is that it is confirmed to come out in 2017. It can't be possibly 2017. It has to be confirmed to be in 2017. Mm. And the final one. I'll, I'll email them. <laughs> the final one, which me and Mikey were discussing. Oh, and and I, then re- and then and then we spoke about it. Biggest cock up of the year. The S team. No, no, I, now me and Mikey old. sat there the other, the other day and we were speaking about this and we said we couldn't think of anything that it's was good. a cock up that could qualify as a cock up because we've all made little mistakes we were going through podcasts not, we were literally <laughs> going through podcasts you know, trying to find you know, there was no quote I mean you've offended half the nation and half of the world as well I'm surprised he hasn't done it to those to be no <laughs> but then don't I looked through my past notes oh god and I was going through and I happened to stumble across my S Team Award Ceremony thing that I'd already prepared from a few months ago. And I found something at the bottom of Biggest Cock Up of the Year. And it had two words. Bread and person. 
Now I remember what this is. Please I'm, don't not tell gonna, me it's I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying it could. I could be one. Of, it's one of the three of us. I'm not saying who. But me and Mikey were going to sit there and get rid of biggest cock of the year, and then I remembered Red that, person. and I thought, no. What has Mikey done with bread? That is actually. What have you done with bread? <laughs> what have I, I done with bread? Is it, is it the first time win for me? Is it is Matty finally not going to come second? Me. Or is it going to be a triple world champion? <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. <laughs> Could this be the Sebastian Vettel? Yeah. I, I do, wouldn't go that far. I do think that... Do you want this fucking foot planted to the side of your I face? will say this much, though. The thing that I thought of is, like, it is the only thing this year that I can categorically go... It is a cock up. It qualifies for it. It's not as big as you know, water was invented or something like that, or <laughs> falling through a tent. You know, it's not that was like two that. years ago. It, exactly. Actually, that was last year. No, it wasn't. Was it twenty? It was twenty fourteen? Was it twenty fourteen? Because it was nomination for the first one. It would have won until you said water was invented. <laughs> <laughs> Only one man. We've had be. a load of cock ups this year, though. But there's nothing like that's big enough. Go on, tell me one. <laughs> exactly, that's the thing. I have a thing where I note down cock-ups that have happened, and it's blank apart from this one thing. I know we laugh about them all the time, but then I just can't remember. But they're not from this year. Hmm. That's the thing. But this one was this year. Oh my God, there is one. We'll soon see what the nominate. Does it have to be on the podcast, or could it be? Um, it could be. No, it's a cock-up. You know. <laughs> it could be. Yeah. It could be anything. Could be anything. We can't. No, we can't talk about it now. Can't talk about it now. If you want to message me on the phone now and tell me what it is, then you can. But um, oh, we'll soon find out what it is. What have we mentioned in here? But that's the podcast for this week. Wow, it's a big podcast. Well, we haven't been here for a month. Pretty much. Is what my dad it's forgot what it looked like? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been hard, like, but you know, a half of this was just talking about plants as well. You and your fucking plants. plants. If you want to follow <laughs> Sir Plant on Twitter, <laughs> you can't. But you can follow Mikey Keaton. <laughs> Mikey Keaton XD. If you want to follow our host and pain in the ass, best mate, uh, it is JetCM53. You can also follow him at Job Centre. Which one then? All I'll of them. Give me a job! But it's. Uh, you can, like us. Money, please. you can like <laughs> us on Facebook, you can subscribe, you can comment, you can... How many subscribers have we got now? Three. Six. Have we? Yeah. Let's just confirm this. It was six the last time I checked, which is a month ago. We're working so our way up. Yeah. Soon we'll have our own TV show. Yeah. yeah. When yeah, we're yeah, dead. We'll have, a, we'll have it when we're dead, and there'll be comments about how shite this podcast was. <laughs> <laughs> An episode for every podcast we did. So... It's bye from Matty. Bye bye. Uh, it's bye from Mike. Oh yeah, we have got six subscribers yet. Yeah, bye. <laughs> and it's bye from me, and we've been the